stupid YouTube contest. I don't understand how this is supposed to be something legit. I mean, obviously there is nothing legit to it. It's a stupid YouTube contest. I don't really care about blinds. My name is Bourbon. Breeze really won. If he wins the whole thing, Matt can't do this again. stupid YouTube contest. I don't understand how this is supposed to be something legit. I mean, obviously there is nothing legit to it. It's a stupid YouTube contest. I don't really care about blinds. My name is Bourbon. Breeze really won. If he wins the whole thing, Matt can't do this again. What's going on? I'm Bourbon, and this is Whiskey Uncensored. Today was a little, uh, and this last couple weeks even have been a little crazy. Um, so I figured let's go a little low key tonight and let's taste through some bottles I've kind of been neglecting. Um, I've gotten to taste two of them so far out of the four that I'm going to be tasting through, and uh. Yeah, I, I've had two of them for a long time, and two I've gotten fairly recently. And I figured, ah, let's taste through the Green River lineup, and then probably after a little while, after tasting through them, probably go over to a pub. So, uh, yeah, keep it low key, uh, keep it easy, keep it low proof, because I believe uh, if I survive to Mark's stream tonight, we're going to be going uh, pretty high proof over by Northwest Bourbon. So, uh, yeah, I'm right here. I've got some 80 proof crappy cheersing whiskey, a little, uh, old charter eight. I'm just trying to burn through Eight matured for many seasons, otherwise known as a two year still need eight years. <laughs> just saying, putting it out in the universe. Let's see who's hanging out. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Cheers, y'all. And with that, let's see. Gary Franchi, the franchise, was in the house early. First in the chat at around 8.30. Yeet. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't checked out the World's Worst Bourbon channel yet, you need to do that. Some of the greatest, worst content you'll ever see in your life. Just saying. Mr. Great Shot was early in the house, too. Dang old KY Juice. Eh, it's actually mid-aged at best. KY Juice, but what's going on, Great Shot? I believe you should have a hand delivery tomorrow from me. So uh, keep me posted on that. And if you uh, checked out Bourbon Bounty tonight, you would have seen that Mr. Great Shot is one half of Bourbon Bounty. So uh, check out Bourbon Bounty. Cheers. The man, the myth, the man that's in one state above me, Bourbon Baller Lee in the house. Cheers, brother. Um, for everyone who donated to the fundraiser and helped Lee get home, Lee is home right now. So he is able to be with his family thanks to this community and take care of what needs to be taken care of. So I'll say cheers to, uh, to Bowler's Pops Vic. Raising a glass. I know they'll be uh, celebrating him the next few days. And uh, I'm hoping to get to see the bowler too. So uh, to Vic, man, cheers. Cold George in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing? Rick was in the house. Cheers all. How you doing, Rick? Doing the Cheech thing with this 80 proofer right now. Daniel Sutherland, I made it. Cheers. Cheers, good sir. I, uh, yeah. You actually think I was going to start on time, did you? I almost did, actually. Doug, GT Mustang 09 in the house. Cheers, all. Cheers, man. Bye. 
Bonnie's in the house. Cheers, hon. She's up at the first robotic competition up in Albany, New York. Cheers, hon. Hope the robots back together. If you all remember, we did a fundraiser for their team last year. Uh, so this is this year's. Luckily, they were able to uh, take care of things with funds this year, to my best understanding. But they were uh, the robot was in pieces last I heard. So hopefully it's in a better state right now. Cheers, son. Love you. Peter White in the house. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Peter. How you doing? And C. Jackson. Cheers. I'm sorry, C. Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. I just have to say cheers to Cindy. Hi. How you doing? Eric Gunderson in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing? Jeffrey Wack is in the house. Greetings once more, Bourbon Associates. How you doing? Hello again, whiskey friends. You know me, I got to make everything difficult. Cheers, man. How you doing? Let's see here. You've been neglecting them? I'm calling BPS. Bottle Protective Services on you. Yeah, well. Let's see here. 150 bottles open, many just forgotten. Well, actually, only one of these is open. I have sampled one of the others elsewhere. So we're going to pop some bottles tonight because, yeah, because they're bottles and they need opening. Sugar Kitty's in the house. Meow. Meow, Sugar Kitty. How you doing? Dave B in the house. Cheers, man. Still need to get you your bottle. We need to figure that out. Cheers, man. How you doing? Piper John in the house. Cheers, man. Let's see here. William Reynolds in the house. Cheers. A little fist bump action. The uh, Irish whiskey queen of the United States, Four Leaf Whiskey in the house. Cheers, Stacy. If you haven't checked out Four Leaf Whiskey yet, you don't like Irish whiskey, and you're just wrong. So go check Stacy's channel out. Cheers from your Dart League. Roscoe P. Coltrane in the house. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, man. T-Rob, the gun show in the house. Cheers, Ben, and everyone here tonight. Cheers, man. Man, how's Cheech do this? I need water already. Goddamn. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Everybody's saying what's up to everybody else. There's Bonnie. The robot is functional. Still needs work, but we're in the third match in the morning. So more work happening after that. Cheers to that. That's pretty cool. Dave B. Yeah, I forget what town you're in, man. Hit me up. Send me an email again or something. Or get my number. It's pretty easy to do. And we'll figure it out. Cheers, man. Tommy motherfucking D in the house. Cheers, Tommy. How you doing, brother? John Kranz. Cheers, Ben and everyone. Am I caught up on chat? That's not possible. Bonnie May, good luck. You're up where I grew up, west of there. I'm sorry, sugar kitty. And with that, wow. I'm actually caught up. Only seven, only like 15, not even 10 minutes in. Wow. That was like speed round. All right. I need some water after all that young 80 proof Buffalo Trace sadness. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ethan's here, and uh, he says this whiskey sucks. I gotta be tormented. So, with that, let's see. Put that down without breaking anything. At least try to. Actually, this hydration break is brought to you by the egg roll. 
Hanging out on the cum guzzler. Don't forget to hydrate, people. There you go. Don't be. Seriously, it was a good area to grow up with the cows. Moo. Roscoe says, first time having Bardstown Origin weed bottled and bond. Now I understand why I can't find it. Yeah, it's freaking delicious. So one of the whiskeys I'm going to have tonight is the Green River Weeded Bourbon, which is essentially the 90-proof version of the Origin Bottled and Bond. Um, to my knowledge, they're basically the same whiskey. I think the Green River might be slightly younger. I am not 100% sure on that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that Origin Weeder is ridiculous, in my opinion. I think that bottle's a sleeper. To me, I blinded that against uh, my own Maker's Mark pick that I did in person. And uh, that was when I blew up Bill Samuel's b private bathroom. You know, pat myself on the shoulder for that one. And uh, against Weller 107. And in my opinion, that weeder is better than both of them. So, yeah. Incredible. Everybody's saying what's up to everybody else. T-Rob, I have to say the standard green ribbon bourbon. I had a pour of Jack Rose last year. was less than impressive. Well... Here's the standard Green River bourbon. 90 proof, 45% alcohol. And uh, a legacy revived. Founded by John W. McCullough in 1885 on Kentucky's 10th oldest distillery, Green River was celebrated for quality and became known as the Whiskey Without Regrets before being lost to history after Prohibition. I guess they had some regrets. Once again, Green River Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is proudly crafted inside the walls of its original home in Owensboro, Kentucky. All right. Well, there's the bullshit on the label. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what it's about. Let's get this open. And I think the last time I had this, I was actually in Kentucky. So it's been a while. America, that was a good pop. They're using, it looks like real cork. That makes me sad. Because nothing to do with envir being environmental, having to do with regular, there's no reason to use regular cork, in my opinion. Oh, would you like some of this? Or are you still drinking? I got rid of that one. Pour some from my cousin here. And uh, if you haven't seen the bottle, they got a little horseshoe thing at the bottom there. It's a cool bottle. And, uh, yeah. So this is their... This is their regular bourbon mash bill. And, uh, yeah. Let's give it a little standard uh, Matt Porter swirl job here. And uh, let's catch up on chat again. Ladies and gentlemen, ASMR whiskey. Cheers from Vegas, everyone. Cheers, Andrew. If you haven't checked out ASMR whiskey yet, what are you waiting for? Cheers. Just poured some Mash and Journey Barrel King pick. Nice. There you go. Cheers, GT. Jerry Black is in the house. Cheers, man. Let's see here. Roscoe loves the Green River. Well, I'm about to find out if I love it. Because it has been a while since I had this. Eric Isaacson in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing? Jerry Black has no regrets. That's right, man. The world's worst bourbon channel just may be doing a Green River pick in May for that story your Pingree single barrel came from. Would that be a nerdy pick? Just wondering. 
Without regrets. You mean like OZ Tyler, Terror Pure? Sure. Hey, everybody likes Terror Pure when it's not Terror Pure and it says uh, Blue Note Juke Joint on the bottles. Just saying. The Green River Rye is pretty dang good. I have not tried it yet. It just landed here a couple weeks ago. So I finally got my hands on it. The Weeder is pretty good also. Yeah, I do enjoy the Weeder, though I like the Bardstown Origin more. At least from memory. So we shall see tonight. Adam Shelton in the house. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, y'all. Cheers to Adam. Cheers. Mark Emenecker in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing? Freezer Manhattan. Uh, okay. I don't know what that is. If you come over to Owens Owensboro, go to Kroger's and get the Green River single barrel pick number two. I've had three different picks, and the Kroger pick is the best one. Well, I do have a pick here tonight that I got locally, but uh, I will. I always forget where Owensboro is, but I will be in Kentucky in, I think, about three weeks. So, uh, need to uh, remember that, or maybe. Have somebody grab that. That is good knowledge. I will put that in here. Stay. Stay. Not an official poor nerds pick, but there may be an opportunity for those in the poor nerds community. Oh, I am a nerd. Mark is the cocktail master. Wow, did I meet a miss meeting? I don't think I knew Mark was into cocktails. Okay. So anyway, I poured this regular bar. So I've been doing a little cheersing sips, but let me really uh, let me let me take this apart a little bit here. So on the nose, it's almost a little Buffalo Tracy, almost. So like if I had to guess where this was from, that's the first thing that hits me, which is kind of weird. A little, a little herbal grassiness. A little bit of maybe blackberry. There's like a tart sweet note. That I'm trying to get on the nose here. Almost like raspberries or, or blackberries. But not when you eat them. Like when they're on the vine. It's almost what I'm getting on the nose. It's a weird note, but... I mean, there's definitely some, you know, caramel... Bourbon notes, you know. They're definitely in there, but I think the grassy herbal note is the most pronounced, but there's kind of that, like, fresh berries on the vine or on the branch kind of thing going on. Or on the bush. But uh, let's take a real sip. Cheers, y'all. The grassy note carries to the palate. Yeah, she's she's a little grassy on the palate. That's kind of weird. That grassy note is what I remember. It's definitely prevalent. The weird thing is it's almost in the front of the tongue. It's grassy. Towards the back, there's a lot more classic brown sugar, caramel, bourbon notes. 
Definitely no, no berry thing going on. Not much sweetness going on. A little, a little drying and tannic on the finish. Does make you salivate, and I'm guessing that's kind of the tannins, but definitely feels like it needs a little more time to me. And I'm kind of hoping that the single barrels, from what I remember, I've only tried one single barrel, and it was one of the first ones released, and I remember it just being okay. I don't remember it blowing me away. Um, so much so that I didn't buy it. Interesting. Marty with a $5 super chat. If you haven't checked out Whiskey Nose, you don't like Saying hello to the weekend. Just saying, check out Marty on Fridays. Cheers, Whiskey Uncensored, and everyone help support Whiskey Uncensored. Well, you know, Marty, I do need a lot of support. Just saying. And uh, thanks for all the chats last week and, uh, you know, making it a little uncomfortable. I appreciate that. I dated a girl called Buffalo Tracy back in college. It's not what you think. She was from Western New York. Uh-huh. I see you. I have been vindicated. <laughs> uh, not the first time, T-Rub. Let's go in again. Really? A young... Comes off as young, doesn't come off as crafty. Comes off a little grassy, unfortunately. Can't call it rye or rye bread, and just call it green grass clippings almost. It's uh, interesting at best. Tony Tutos is in the house. Cheers, fucker. Cheers, fucker. And Tony actually came up with a good idea for me for a uh, upcoming string of lives where he wants me to try and find... He thinks I should try and find my favorite MGP here. That could take a couple of weeks. Just saying. You ain't wrong, Marty. You ain't wrong. Freezer Manhattan is a batch of Manha Manhattan pot in a bottle and stored in freezer. I've never heard of, I've heard of Northern Lights. I've heard of, you know, a lot of different strains, but I never heard of Manhattan pot. Just saying, Mark. I'm going to need Slapshot here to uh, confirm. They're hot to me, but the Kroger number two is still hot, but lots of flavor. Super dark. Interesting. And they were plentiful last you knew, Roscoe? Uh, batch of Manhattans in a bottle stored in freezer. Got it. Yeah, there you go. Tony yelling out. MGP Battle Royale. And Rob D in the house. Cheers, crew. Cheers, Rob D. 40 people watching this shit show. Cheers to all of you. I don't know what you're doing here, but thanks for being here and hope you're sipping on something good. Matter of fact, why don't you tell me what you guys are sipping on in chat? We'll make it, uh, you know, interactive. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of bottles to try. What is? What you talking about, huh? There you go. Great shot. Going for some Pete. There's a big surprise. Nobody saw that coming. John Kranz, you will kill me when I tell you what I just got. Let's say it has a weird star on the canister. You got a you got some devil worshiping pentagram stuff, Marty? Put not potty, can't type. Well, Mark's on the potty. We got that. Thanks, brother. Really appreciate that. Smash that thumbs down. I mean thumbs up. Whatever, yeah. 
Mellow corn with ice. I am sick as a dog. So if you're sick as a dog, how about give your body a break and don't drink whiskey? Just an idea. Adam Shelton is drinking a little Night Stalker blend from Evernorth. I saw they posted a picture of that. I didn't actually look what the Night Stalker blend was. And how did you get it already? Bastard. Picking your favorite. Yeah, that. That'd be a lot of drinking. Just saying. Sounds good, Roscoe. Uh, I'll be in town from the 3rd to the 9th next month, at least. Forty sheesh, and y'all haven't even hydrated and hit that like. Yep. Jerry Black sipping on a little of that Nassif Family Reserve rum. There you go. Sugar Kitty sipping on some Black Arts scotch. Black Arts or Dark Arts? What, what, are you sipping on like a $700 bottle, Sugar Kitty? Yeah. There you go. John's having the uh, he's having the uh, banquet beer. There you go. A little Coors Banquet Stubby. A nearly 11-year Traverse City Rye Single Barrel. I need to check on that. Sipping water until after I confirm all the kids are in the right rooms. Then a Knob Creek Cask Strength Rye. There you go. I still need to see a picture of that, huh? Let's see here. My stream deck's twitching out. That was interesting. Meow, meow. That is what I just picked up. The new release under 400. Wow. No, not what I'm sipping on. That's what would have a pentagram on that whiskey. No says. Adam Shelton sent me a text. Well, you know, let's keep it interactive here. There we go. All right. Poor Charlotte is so good. Poor Charlotte is so good. All right. So uh, this uh, Green River is okay. Am I glad I have it? Yeah, I think I paid 32 bucks for it, 34 bucks for it in Kentucky on my last visit. So it's not expensive. Would I buy it again? Honestly, unless I heard that the age went up or it was a better batch, no. Let's see here. An odd question, Eric Anderson. Are you left hand? That is an odd question. Exactly. Let's keep it interactive. He takes time to pay attention to his phone. I tell you, with friends like Tony, who needs enemies? Not just the thumb. There you go. UK about to trash my bracket. I don't know what that means. What is England doing? Tony is a moving legend. Yeah, hey, he's a he's a something. That's for sure. Sugar, you just finished the Ben React Smoky 12. Pete's a nice guy. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, sure. Love you too, Tony. Cooper's Craft is around the same price as these and way better in my opinion. I would agree that Cooper's Craft is way better than the regular Green River Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So I'm going to move the room off to the side because, uh, yeah, I wasn't impressed. But with that, let's go to one I know tastes good. Let's go to the Green River Weeded Bourbon. Again, 90 proof. The same BS on the back of the label. 
Except for it says, once again, Green River Whiskey is crafted at its original home. This weeded bourbon showcases a classic Kentucky profile with a smooth, balanced taste. Yeah, who doesn't like smooth whiskey? America. Pour out one for my homies. And uh, I was just told I need to mute the microphone for a second. So, uh, Some people have great timing, just saying. All right. There you go. Kentucky NCAA Tournament United Kingdom. No idea. Everyone's proud. What, what am I missing? Yeah, it sucks. Kentucky's about to lose. Okay. It's a sports ball reference. Yeah, I get some sports ball. I just don't understand college sports ball. So I'm guessing this is college sports ball related. And the franchise says, go Golden Grizzlies. Okay. Roscoe says the weed, it is good. Yeah, weed, it is good. I know that for a fact. Hey, B. Have I told you you're a douche recently? I don't know who B is, but I hope they're not too insulted. No, just uh, my cousin. United Kingdom stands for University of Kentucky. Got it. March Madness. Isn't that a basketball thing? March Madness. Yeah, basketball. Okay, yeah. See? That's, again, why do people care about college sports? I, I don't get it. The whole team changes every couple of years. I mean, look, I get it. People love it. I just, I don't see the attraction to it. And then I really don't see the attraction to gambling on it. But because you're gambling on, and I know some pro athletes will disagree, but you're gambling on children. So, yeah, I don't know. Not my deal, but if it's your deal, cheers, enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy this Green River Weeded Whiskey. Cheers. That is so much better than their regular expression. Samoan barkeep in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing, brother? There you go. Look, I get it, but I don't get it. Yeah, kind of. Seems we could nip March Madness in the butt if we watched out for the warning signs of brooding antisocial February. Yeah, probably. All right. So let's nose this now. It's sweet, almost like a honeysuckle thing going on on the nose. It's like honey, but super, super light. That's why I say honeysuckle. Maybe like a green apple, like not really. 
like almost like a f I'm getting weird notes today. Maybe like an apple on a tree. Like if you're in a pick your own apple situation. Like it's not even cut open yet. But there's this weird sweetness I get on both this and the uh, Bardstown Origin that I have a hard time describing on both weeders. But it is yummy. And uh, let's go to the palate. Cheers. Definitely get some wheat spice on that. Especially on the finish. So much so that it could trick you as a rye. A lot of cinnamon on the finish and a lot of... I guess I would go almost like a slightly unripened peach or nectarine on the palate like a little tart still but you know people call it stone fruit but not quite there yet again a lot of tannins. It's definitely making you salivate. Or well, it's making me salivate. Yeah, it's just freaking good. I do think that 10 proof points more and a little more age on the... Uh, I thought I had it in arm's reach, but right now I'm not so sure. On the uh, Bardstown Weeded Bottled and Bond the origin, I really think it takes this out. And as it's only like another 15, 20 bucks more than this, I would probably go with that. I do enjoy this. This should be their base expression. I don't even think they need the, the regular bourbon yet. But, uh, yeah. Definitely a little more fruit on the mid palate now. But I feel like it's a little too a little too proof down. If it I mean they can't leave it at the same proof because otherwise it would probably taste almost the same. And they wanted, I think, Green River to be a little easier and a little uh easier point of entry, but I really feel like it needs that little bit higher proof right now. I like it, but I like the Bardstown version of this a lot better. That said, I am highly seeking, and I know there's only a few in this world, a Bardstown Weeder single barrel. Although, a Green River Weeder single barrel would probably be pretty goddamn good, too. Just saying. Roscoe's definitely going to get a bar backup of the Bardstown Weeded Bib. Excellent. It really is. I have a backup already. And this one, again, I'm not sad I bought it. I would only buy it again if there were no Bardstown Bottled and Bond Origins around. Remember the good old days when you could stream sports illegally? I mean, you still kind of can. Just saying. Speaking of illegal, Mr. Jigs in the house. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Mr. Jigs. How you doing, man? Charles, cheers with a little Bardstown. Uh, Green River, owned by Bardstown. Weeded bourbon. Cheers. Are you trying the single barrel or the just the three basic? Uh, I am going to try a single barrel. It is right here. I uh, got that recently. So I have not tried that yet, but I uh, 
We'll be getting there soon. I am going to do the rye first, just because the proof point's so much higher on the uh, single barrel. Yeah, the single barrel I have is a DMD barrel pick. Aged five years, five months, married to doctor's pick. Uh, this is out of New York City, 119 proof. And uh, this is the DMD tram team. Yeah. And it has this little hang tag on it, too. DMD strike team 2023. So that will be the fourth one. So, yeah. Everybody cheers and jigs at ads. Do I have ads happening? I didn't think I had monetization on this. Uh, Cindy, please confirm I don't have ads right now. All my sites got shut down. Yeah, but dude, all you got to do is search. I feel that frustration, man. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta look around, but there's always stuff. Depending on what you're looking for, let me know. I'm sure I can find it. I'm glad there's no live stream link. I may have had a few drinks tonight. Well, there will be once I'm done with the Green Rivers. And uh, you know, shortly after that, we'll be going over to uh Mark Northwest Bourbon. Just saying. I only use gobble with safe search on. Well, then you're then you're a, a uh, vagina. <laughs> no, I was trying to message Adam Shelton. He rushed too fast. Got it. My virgin eyes get scared when they're exposed to filth. I know that's a lie. Cheers, David Bass. And with that, I'm going to take another little quick hydration break brought to you by Egg Roll. And then I'm going to get into one I've been excited to try and I have not tried yet. Let me know if you guys have tried it yet. Next up... And I've heard a lot of good things. The Green River Rye. This just came out here. This one is 95 proof. And let's see what BS is on the back of this one. Oh, that's the same. But then, once again, Green River Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey is proudly crafted inside the walls. It's original home in Owensboro, Kentucky. Okay. But I've heard nothing but good things about this rye. I know Dusty Dan loved it. Everyone I've talked to, I've not heard a bad thing about this rye. So when I saw it landed here, I grabbed one. So let's see what it's about. America, a little bit of a light pop there. This looks like it's almost like a half synthetic, half real cork. Step in the right direction. You ready for another pour yet? I'm going to wait for my cousin to come get a pour. Oh dear, don't be tempting me. I should go get some food. You should, out of the fridge. You shouldn't drive, just saying. I'm pulling out for my homies. This is the rye. Yep. This is the rye. It's pretty good. I got a lot of mint on it. Interesting. Ben highlighting his ASMR lip smacking. Best when following sips from the cum guzzler. 
What can I say? I aim to please, Mark. The Big Black Cock Weeded has more to it, but the Green River is still really good. Yep. Agreed, Roscoe. By the way, Ben, I have the same shirt and completely agree with you. I like bourbon and maybe three people. Yep. Truth. So let's give this the uh, ADHD whiskey, Matt Porter, patented SJ. And let's nose this fucker. Sucker. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Spearman on the nose. Hello. Not, not like a menthol mint, almost like a sweet spearmint. Like a, what was that? Double mint, wintergreen, whatever. Like, like spearmint, not, not mint. That is just completely pervading the nose. Top dog in the house. Cheers, John. What's up, everyone? And here's a little piece of Top Dog's wood. But Brian hasn't been here yet tonight, so I can't make it touch Brian's wood. Cheers, man. How you doing? Are the three people Bonnie and your two cousins? Uh... No, I don't like my cousins. They don't like me very much either. Can't really blame them. Now, I got a notification tonight that there was some kind of new thing with YouTube chat where you could pin multiple things or something. I'm just curious. It was like new. You could pin things. No, no, it's just regular old pinning. I don't know. That was like weird. It like popped up. Hey, new feature. Same feature we've had forever. I don't know. I need that shirt except replace bourbon with scotch. I'm pretty sure you could get that done. All right, let's see if I can get anything else on the nose of this. Sweet, sweet spearmint. Almost like opening up a uh, fresh piece of gum. Oh, well. Cheers. Hmm. That's a, that's a thinker. Let me go in for another one. I'm literally getting like a spearmint chewing gum. I'm going to say double mint. Sweet mint, nice rye spice on the finish. It's not really complex, but it does taste good. Excuse me. There you go. Mark telling Mark what's up. Don't be exclusive, Mark. Replace with whiskey and sh we share the love. With an E or without an E, Mark? Or would you put the E in parentheses? JH in the house. Cheers, all. Cheers, man, with some uh, Green River Rye.
There has been one Barney eruption. The parenthetical E. E with the big words. Yes, yeah, sweet mint kind of a spearmint bubblegum. Not bubblegum, like Wrigley's. That's where I'm at on this. Anybody else got thoughts on this one? More people texting me. Don't know about what? Oh, well. Big Cat in the house. Cheers, Ben, and everyone in chat. Cheers, Big Cat. How you doing, brother? John just poured a Green River single barrel. That's next for me. Yeah, I dig this. I don't know what I was expecting. This definitely was not what I was expecting at all. What do you think of it? Peanut gallery? What was that, ass? What do you think of this whiskey? So far, it's the, I found it to be the best tasting. Okay, what are you tasting? Mint. It tastes almost like, uh, what's the gum, that, the gum that we used to chew? Double mint. Yeah, see, there you go, another one. It's in, it, it's interesting. It is super minty, though. You have to like minty rye. Zero dill, I will say that. This is not a dilly rye at all. None. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what the uh, rye queen says when she tries. Mm -hmm. Bonnie is definitely going to need to try this one. It's a little one notey, but I like it. I can see this being a staple for when you're in the mood for this kind of thing, for the price in the mid thirties for a rye with a lot of flavor. I could, you know, you got to be into the mint though. There's definitely John is not a fan of the rye. So I'm guessing he's not a fan of the mint. Do you generally like minty rye? Bonnie generally likes sweet rye. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be interested to see what she thinks on this. Because it is sweet, but it is super minty. Almost to the point of getting like a little menthol effect when you, uh, you know, you inhale. There you go. <laughs> Not a fan of mint. There you go, yeah. And my cousin just yelled out Newports. If you smoke Newports, or ever did, this could be the whiskey for you. He ain't wrong. Still 36 people watching this shit show. Thank you very much. Don't know why you're here, but thanks for being here. Now remember, they're only 90 and 95 proof, but you drink them fast enough, you could still feel it. Just saying. Maybe I'm feeling a little. <laughs> More of a fan of mint than dill in rye. Yeah. Bonnie, not sure how I feel about minty rye. Guess I'll try it soon. You will. Flashback to 30 years ago. <laughs> Hashtag Newports. Yep. Newports, Marlboro Greens, Marlboro uh, Green Light. Nah, never, not, never did such a thing. Just saying. Almost picked up a Blue Note rye today. I have not seen... Well, I've seen the Blue Note like 17-year rise for like 200 bucks. But, uh... Yeah. Other than those, I don't think I've seen much in the way of Blue Note Rye. Interesting. F those stupid green packs of cigs. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's been a very, very, very long time, Mark. 
like creeping on two decades long. Quit smoking cigarettes about 10 years ago, curled turkey. So glad did. Um, October 26, uh, yeah, October 26, 2007, 9.30 p.m. Not like I remember it at all. I'm glad I did, but the experience was harrowing. One of the worst experiences of my life. But uh, cheers to that. I'm sure it was not easy because I know it wasn't easy. That's when I got really, really fat again. But, uh, yeah, working on it. So, cheers to all of us who've kicked the nicotine. <laughs> the rest of October 2007 was not good. I'll say that, yeah. I don't really remember it. And I'm not much for memory gaps, but I don't really remember it. Blue Note Rye used to go under the label as Riverfest. I thought Riverfest was a toasted bourbon. I'm not sure. Interesting. Okay. Well, as I'm drinking this rye, it's kind of that one trick pony. And I think, yeah, if you like minty ryes, this is your jam. If you like sweet minty ryes, this is even more of your jam. If you don't like mint, don't go within 20 feet of this whiskey. And that, cheers. Bonnie's asking the chat, have you ever seen a grown man hurl a froyo across a parking lot? I could say I've never seen a man hurl a froyo across a parking lot. Allegedly, I am the man who threw a froyo across a parking lot. But, uh, yeah. What's up, Jody? Bourbon Bounty, the other half of Bourbon Bounty, is in the house. Check out Bourbon Bounty. So you can maybe win four times a year. Well, now it's eight times a year because of the halfway mark. Yeah. Cheers. Even though the same people always win. Yep. Cheers. Had to do with the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, man, whatever you do in the butt is what you do in the butt. I'm just saying. Mark says, I haven't kicked nicotine because I'm not a quitter. Uh, I had the fear of uh, God put in me. So I did. Kind of wish vaping was a bigger thing back then. I probably would have had a lot of easier time transitioning. But, uh, yeah, I said transitioning to vaping. But, uh, yeah, that really wasn't an option at that time. So, uh, yeah. Okay, time to make sure the kiddos are in the rooms. Then it's right o'clock. There you go, hon. Good luck. Chris Tats in the house, all the way from good day, all from down under. We had a Japanese whiskey tasting. I don't know what this stupid accent is I'm doing. Last night over here, we also cracked the Green River bourbon and weeder after we got home. There you go. Cheers to that, Chris. Hopefully Lil's there drinking with you, too. Well, then again, you're not drinking. Alexa, what time is it in Australia? Yeah, yeah, no, it has more than time zones. Yeah, I know. It is 1.01 p.m. Yeah, 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Friday, you could be drinking. Uh, cheers. Somebody said, come home in a while ago. I think it was Sugar Kitty. Went to Machia Bay. There you go. And Mark and I are talking about more giveaway stuff. There you go. Eric stopped swimming about 25 years ago, man. Cheers to that. No, on coffee now. Yeah. It is midday now. Yep. Visited my dad in the hospital when I was 20. 
He was in an oxygen tent, oxygen tent with emphysema. Walked out of his room and threw my cigarettes away. Haven't smoked since. There you go, Jerry. All right. Sorry you had to see that, go through that. But hopefully, you know, it had a positive outcome for your lungs, at least. Wow, I don't have tunes on. I'm just, I'm slacking tonight. And with that, let's pull out the most expensive pour of the evening. Well, the most important, expensive pour of this flight. Something I know no tasting notes on, other than the store that this came through generally does very good picks. But this was, I think, leftovers on group picks, so we shall see. Green River Single Barrel Bourbon. Full proof, 119 proof, which I guess is their barrel entry proof, because that's generally what full proof means. Oh, yes. We're going to crack the bottles of BBC Origins tonight. So they're going into that big black cock tonight again. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, they're going to go for the BBC Origins tonight. Just saying. But, uh, Chris, I'll be curious what you think. But uh, my my preference is heavily for the weeder, for the bottled and bonded weeder. And John Kranz threw the pack of window pack out the window while he was driving. At 23 years old. Cheers to that. Let's crack this single barrel. Kind of a weak pop, America. Again, this weird, like, synthetic and non-synthetic blend cork thing going on. Not, I don't think I'm loving this cork game. I don't know. Let's see what this uh, single barrel is about. Peanut gallery ready for another pour yet? Almost. Okay. Here's to hoping this is a good pick. Great shot loves that mock ear bay. Yes, he does. <laughs> he said pull out. Yep. <laughs> pull out. <laughs> I've been drinking my wife's pick. Your wife did a Green River pick? That's pretty cool. Cheers to that, man. I cigar now, and then is it for me? Okay. Cheers, J Max. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but cheers, man. How you doing, brother? Man, once you transition, you might like the cork. Yeah. It's possible. Eric is asking on, is there any of Renee's pick left? Uh find out if there is. Just saying. A. Then it, it, I don't know where A fits in there, J Max, but sure. My phone is making all kinds of noises, but uh, let's nose the single barrel. Color on that is definitely a lot darker. It's almost, and it's definitely oily. I don't know if you could see the legs on the glass. 
Yeah, I guess you kind of can. They're pretty freaking oily. Look at that. I mean, nice to have some proof in these right now. And this one again is five years and five months old. I find I'm searching for those grassy notes right away. I'm looking for them just because I know it's the same mash bill. It might be there a little bit. Might be getting a little bit of it. But it's definitely... I mean, it's definitely a lot more ethanol. I'll tell you that. Trying to get that SJ going here. I am getting a little bit of that herbal grassiness, though. I don't know. I'm not getting a lot else on the nose. So, uh, let's see what it's about. Cheers, y'all. That is really sweet up front. Wow. Instant heavy brown sugar bourbon note. I think I gotta wash that rye out a little more because I feel like I'm getting a little mintiness. And I feel like that could be left over on the palate. Renee and I are part of a five man and woman team to pick store picks for a local store. We went with her to pick on the Green River. Very cool. She got legs. She knows how to use them. Jerry's got ass. He knows how to shake it. Just saying. Yeah. Obviously, at 119 proof, so much more mouthfeel. There's a burst of brown sugar on this one. It is really covering everything. What you sipping? I am sipping. Green River 119 proof single barrel. From the DMD Dram Team. I think he's driven by it before. Interesting. Thinking about that Joseph Magnus cigar blend 126 again. You can't go wrong with something Nancy touched. That's for sure. Holy crap. Whiskey RN Sierra's in the house. Cheers. I may pour something in a little while if my headache goes away. Headaches are stupid. Welcome one of the newest Daisy Award winners to the chat. Okay, cheers on the Daisy Award, even though I have no idea what the Daisy Award is. So, I'm going to Google. To the Googles. Oh, that's freaking awesome. So, here we go. The Daisy Foundation... What is the Daisy Award? <laughs> Nurses every day go about, uh, above and beyond, not only to provide patients and families with excellence in clinical care, but also compassion. 
At the Daisy Foundation, we aim to honor them by showing our profound gratitude for all that they do. The Daisy Award is a recognition program to celebrate and also recognize nurses by collecting nominations from patients, families, and coworkers. It is run by our partners as a way to thank nurses for the care and kindness they preserve. They provide. So not only was Sierra nominated, apparently she won. And that's freaking awesome. Cheers to that. Congrats, Sierra. Very cool. And you're not the only RN in chat tonight, which is even more interesting. All right, the peanut gallery is ready for the refill bartender. All right, the peanut gallery needs a drink. I like this pick. This is so much better than the uh, than their regular expression. I mean, obviously the proof's there, but so much so much more pleasant so much sweeter yeah very true this. because this is a single barrel this is the final expression what are you getting on it butterscotch hmm there's a call out i like that butterscotch yeah. That's better note than the brown sugar. Look at Ethan coming through with something useful. Did you order an asshole? I didn't. She never begs. She knows how to choose them. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't suck, J Max. My desk is covered in wax. Clearly, I just opened a knob creek. Yes. Did you send me a picture? And my phone says no. This guy's pouring that chip. There you go. Mark Evanegger. Cadets on the Daisy Wars. Given the nurses who got above, above and beyond nominated by peers. Well, I totally believe that. That's awesome. Daisy Award is a healthcare award thing. Eric might know as he is uh, also in the industry. There you go. Eric Gunderson with the Mazel Tov. Like it. There you go. Thanks for the cool. No, thank you for what you did for all your patients, obviously. Yo, Barkeep, Jibu needs a refill. Yeah, you're not kidding. Did the award come with a headache? That's not good. Mm. Well, as my father is a retired RN, and I spent many years with him in hospitals and such, um... Nurses' lives are filled with headaches. And I am sure you know that. And a lot of them are caused by doctors. Just saying, Mark. Tater Dom in the chat. Here's Ben and everyone. Here's Tater Dom with 119 proof Green River store pick. Peter B. Cheers all. Cheers, Peter. How you doing, man? nomination that got me the win was from a patient well that's even that's even better especially in the field you're in sierra um i don't know how much she would want me to get into on here but yeah she's not in the easiest field we will say that she does not have the easiest patience well so you must be possibly one of them no more you what up, fellas? Jerry Black, I know. John Kranz, Mark Abner, Eric Gunderson, Peter B., J. Max, and I'm guessing T. Can to tag everybody else? There you go. Here's Data Dom. Lots of beeping and tones and machines and difficult patients. There you go. <laughs> LOL, the award didn't come with the headache, but the staff meeting I led earlier tonight did. Yeah, the only thing worse than patients are co workers. Cheers. William Hall's in the house. Cheers, man. Checking in. Well, thanks for checking in. Cheers, man. Hopefully see you in a couple weeks. 
Got to talk about that. Stadler Moore from Ben's Balcony. I don't have a balcony. Sorry. This go home and it's tasting damn darn good. Too darn good. Well, I don't know that it could, but there you go. So, yeah, this Green River pick is very sweet. A little spicy on the finish. It's not hot, which is impressive, but it is spicy on the finish. Unfortunately, the sweetness doesn't go into the finish. It kind of transitions into rye spice. But it makes it interesting in that it's a full transition. Goes from sweet and butterscotchy, brown sugary to rye spice. And the rye spice just keeps going and going and going. And what's interesting is the rye spice is kind of in the middle of the tongue. Not I usually get it on the outsides of the tongue. So it is an interesting pick for sure. Sarah says, oh, I work in a psychiatric unit. The nomination was beautiful. I'm keeping it with my certificate. I have no idea who the patient that nominated me with was, which is also a great feeling. That is pretty awesome. Cheers, Sierra. Maybe you should do a little video showing that off, just saying. Yeah, this pick doesn't suck. The nose does not match the palate. Because the nose is very grassy and herbal, very much like the regular 90 proof expression, but the palate is nothing like it. Busco, if you ever see the Kilhoman and Sun San Egg, a definite pie. I have definitely seen that before. The only Kilhoman I own is a sample of Irene Tan's pick of Kilhoman. And uh, I just sent half of it, half of what I had left to uh, Mr. Great Shot. Just saying. Paul biking bourbon in the house. Cheers, man. How you doing, dude? What's going on? And with that. While I'm enjoying this, anybody want to come hang out? Should I throw that link out there? Maybe people will come have a pour. Maybe drink a little Green River. Maybe drink a little Bardstown. Drink a little whatever the heck you want and hang out. Anybody interested? Let me know in the chat. And if you're not interested, you can keep looking at ugly old me. That could work too. Whatever you guys are into. If you watch any Hangouts, you know Mr. Great Shot was a big fan of that pick. Yes, I know he is. That's why, because it is a quite expensive pick. That's why I sent him uh, half of what I had left so he can enjoy more. Along with, I think, 11 other samples. I'm going to go eat some pasta and see if that helps my headache first. That sounds like a good idea. If you haven't eaten... That could help. Maybe do a little deep breathing and a little woo sighing too. That can't hurt a headache. Just saying. Oh, woo sigh. If you don't know what the woo sigh is, then you've never seen Bad Boys 2. And that just makes me sad for you. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You know, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fucking fish. You know, a big eyes, but a nice fucking fish. Just saying.
Been checking prices out here. It's fucking depressing. 7% tax. Um, yeah, I'll tell you about a lot of things. And I'll, I am hoping I can see Bowler this weekend. I know he's tied up with family. And uh, they're uh, laying his father to rest tomorrow. Again, raising the glass to Vic. Bowler's uh, pops. That thanks to this community, he's there and able to help his family and, uh, you know, give him his last rites and celebrate him. And thank you to everyone who helped that bowler. Everyone who donated a bottle, everyone who donated a dollar. Really appreciate all of you. And, uh, yeah, cheers to that. But I'll be dragging you hunting. Just saying. Bourbon neophyte in the house. Cheers, all you magnificent whiskey people. Cheers, Anthony, you magnificent hat-wearing bastard. Cheers, Anthony. If you haven't subscribed to Bourbon Neophyte, what the hell's wrong with you? It's Anthony. What you gonna do? I'm reading Will's book. Is Will's book How to Be Cucked? I don't know. I, uh, I didn't know he had a book. I don't even know if I knew he could read or write. But, you know. Although I did think Hancock was one of the funniest movies of all time. Just saying. So nobody's interested in me dropping that link and coming to hang out and have a drink? Sure is, Anthony. Sure is. Well, I've been calling my friends in the area, too. I just need to know when you're free so I can put my ass on the car. I've already negotiated that with Bonnie as well, baller. <laughs> I expressed interest. I just want to eat first. Well, go eat. I mean... It'd be cool to hang out with you. Haven't seen you in a while, but get rid of that headache first. Take some of those, uh, as Bonnie calls them, Skittles, otherwise known as ibuprofen. John Cran saying, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right. That means John wants to drink his banquet beer live. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's the link. There's the pin. If you want to hang out, you know there were how to do the rest. You gotta make us beg? Thought you were being dramatic. No. If nobody wanted to hang out, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. You know, I'm not making you beg. It's just, you know, hey, is anybody interested? John Clad in the house. Good man. How you doing? And the man uh, riding the Rockies tonight, John Cran's in the house. Cheers. Well, I'm off the Coors now. On a New Glarus Moon Man Pale Ale. That sounds bougie. I haven't had a beer Speaking for three months of, and just felt like it today. Speaking of bougie, this gorgeous gentleman, but no hat. I'm in my chair. In the house. I'm in my chair. Hey, you look comfy. I am. I I'm, I'm just wanted to come on just to say, hey, and you know what, Ben? What you did to help Bourbon Baller was great. I, I got well, to no, watch no, that what stream. We all did. I, I well, do nothing but host it. But Exactly. But you did it. And I think it's great what you did. I think it, we helped out a worthy person. And he has done a lot for us. Okay. Yep. The picks that he has come out with, they're magnificent. And if mm -hmm. it wasn't for some of the people that subbed to me who have dropped off stuff here from him, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they were and are amazing picks. That and, he and I will say, not to reveal too much, I have some personal knowledge of other things he takes care of in the area. How he 
not only hooks people up with bottles and stuff, but also takes care of people on sometimes even a financial level. Mm -hmm. And therefore was so extended that when it came time for him to have to take care of family, yep, he didn't have it. So yep. and that's why it was time for this community to step up. And it yep. did. Yep. Yep. And you know, exactly. as much as I love that and I love this community, I always, I kind of have to bring up just because I'm an asshole that there are people who take advantage of this community also. And that upsets me greatly. So oh, yeah. Oh. I am very happy that we're able to take care of Bowler. I'm hoping to finally get to see him. Um, Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah. Here's the. Uh, f- nope, I agree. And we call him the bourbon bowler because he is a bowler, but, it, you know. Right. For real, he's Lee. And cheers to Lee. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And his, fam- his family is very uh, big on three letter names, apparently, because his dad that we're celebrating was Vic. And he's Lee. Mm-hmm. So. Exactly. I just want to know. I just want to know what Vic's, you know, extended title was. We got Bourbon Baller Lee. You know, mm-hmm. was it was it Good Man? Was it I'll break your fucking head, Vic? You know, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yep. Stuff like you know, Vic the Butcher. Or... Yeah, you know, Vic the Sweetheart. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm. I will say, Sibley, I never got to meet the man, but I am glad we're helping him celebrate him. Yeah, I am too. But, you know, we, we come together when we need to. You got your feet up there, Anthony? I literally do. That That's what it's about right there. I literally do. <laughs> I was, I've been procrastinating and um, the wife's doing some type of a math uh, fair at school. So I had to run and pick up the dog because the dog doesn't want to be there all day. Mm-hmm. The long and short of it is I picked up the dog, came home, and I just started getting into email and going down that wormhole that is YouTube. And I knew you'd been on for about 45 minutes or so now. And I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta come on and say hi. And I'm just like, okay. Then you posted the link. I said, all right, I got to come on because... <laughs> It was a good thing that you hosted for Bourbon Baller, and mm-hmm. I don't get to pop on your stream a lot because I'm up at two thirty in the morning. And normally, I'm I know showered, that. and I'm stretched out with one eye open, watching different people on YouTube. There yeah. you go. And, See what and Baller you know what right Baller, there? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Cheers to that. I am. Yeah. I appreciate all, everyone. I'm hanging out with my family right now, thanks to this community. And that's yeah, personally. Exactly. You know, it's not a, you know, we, it's we, not we, a, it's not a, a, a booze. It's not a come and go mug, but you know, a little Gatorade right there. there you go. A little Gatorade. <laughs> Although Why I don't you have... scream from that chair normally? Pardon me? We need comfy neophyte. Uh, you got it. <laughs> I haven't even changed from work. So I'm going to go here in a little bit, jump in the shower and get cleaned up and ready to hit the hay because like i said 2 30 is going to roll around pretty damn quick as it normally does they got you getting up at 2 30 now yeah i've been up at 2 30 now for whew. yeah that's why sometimes on sundays i got to keep that to an hour and a half or so two hours two thirty. what so what time do you got to be there for i get there at 4 30. i have the place opened up for about 5 15. teachers start coming in 5 15 5 30. Kids get there at six fifteen. So, kids get there at six fifteen. Wow! Bus. Do they hate life? Well, we start at seven fifteen. Is that because of the heat? No, that's just a schedule. And um, wow. so, breakfast to start. They start serving breakfast at about six fifteen, six twenty. So, yeah. Now, hang on. You're a supervisory role. Can't you get somebody else to open that freaking place up? Well, yes, I could switch. But you know what? I want to be in and out and home here at 1.30. Okay. I see you. Uh-huh. I guess you're more. 
So I don't know. Are you a morning person or a night owl at that point? I'm a morning person. I've always been. I hated when I had to work graveyard. I loathed it. All right. So we're polar opposites that way. Yeah. I didn't I mind working graveyard. Wait, I'm on the this, this from the New York City high school teacher. What the fuck kind of hell school do you work at? That's way too early. <laughs> <laughs> well. And, and, and that's from the girl who leaves my place at 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no. I got teachers that report it. And they don't have to, but they're there at 5.15, 5.30 at the latest. There's three. Okay, I do got to ask, though. Okay. So, 2.30 isn't morning. 2.30 is night. Okay? But I know you're beautiful. But what do you need two hours before you get there for? I can't rush in the morning. I got to have at least two, if not three cups of coffee. Wake up. I actually watch YouTube. Sometimes I watch your stream. You know, watch I'm sorry. Again, watch, watch Northwest Bourbon, um, Bad Axe, as I'm sipping on my coffee. Because I miss you guys. Because I'm normally calling the hogs by this time. I was going to say, what time do you go to bed then? About now. I'm I'm... I'm laying in bed. I'm if I'm not. What is it? Eight thirty there. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Still light out. Not here. All right, sunset. Yeah, but and and, and speaking of sunset and light, what's up, Z man? What's up, brother? There he is. What's up, Z man? Two thirty. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah, it's seven thirty here, and it's still dark out. It is more oh, power in the house. Crazy storm here. Pe power keeps cutting out. That's not cool. Sorry, Bill. Here you go, Anthony. Bonnie says we start at eight fifteen. The kids can't show up on time to save their lives. Well, we start first class. Bell rings seven fifteen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So and you're what right. You're saying is, what you're saying is Las Vegas hates fun. Well, I will say this. <laughs> I'm standing at the entrance sometimes at 7.15. The bell's rung. The doors are closed as into the classrooms. And here's 30, 40 kids still coming in. There you go. Some miserable Just kids in the morning. Hey, Mr. Bauer, this is what you get at this time of day. You know, I'm not <laughs> built for fashion. Just passion. Shut Roscoe up, wants oh. to deserve a movie. <laughs> Pure, pure you know, Rocky, oh, believe it or not, I have never tried Oogie. Oh, that was my gateway to Pete. That's a heck of a ride when you start there. Well, I've, tried never... I've tried Corey Vacken. I've tried the 10. I've tried even some community releases, but I've never tried the Oogie. And speaking of Oogie, what's up, Mark? Hey, hey guys. Mark. Hey, Mark. Cheers, yo. Cheers, Mark. There's the there's the mystery gifter. Thanks, man. Hey, well, I'm you got a super you got surprised. Another, you got another package coming. Yeah, I, I was just, like, you had two. I, I thought a sample pack. I'm like, wow, what the heck, man? This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Off, you know, when I was there, Mark, <laughs> to throw the other package out, but it'll oh. come if it okay. doesn't come <clears throat> tomorrow or Saturday. Definitely be able to run it, but you should get it. Yeah. Sure, Sam. Thank you. Sure, Sam, dude. It's a good time well, to open it. I mean, what's it like here? Am I gonna? Um. I love it. Very it's light great peat. scotch. Yeah. It has a suggestion of peat. A suggestion. But it is a wonderful daily drinker. And um, Bless you. I had to send it to you because uh, it's just one of those to me that, yeah, you, you have got to try it. I will tell that. you the bourbon will taste sweet and delicious after it. It will. <laughs> And the peat, the peat is not strong. So on a, no. on a level of one to a hundred, it's about a ten to twenty, hmm. depending. You know, so Anthony, I, was just thinking, I don't think I'm anti-peat. I was like, peat, though, so. I'm not. Anti I was just peat. thinking, have I ever? How long would it take me to find that Highland Park? And I'm like, I have no oh, clue shit. where it is. <laughs> I'm not so getting not up on this. I'm but we're actually on the stream yeah. together, so. But you know so what? You're right. I as soon as you said that, I went, "Oh shit!" But but I honestly, I have no idea where my bottle is. 
Well, I do know where mine is now because I thought about it for a second. But I'd have to <laughs> dig it out. But yeah, I'm not getting out of this chair. If I get out of this chair, it's to the shower. Scotland. James the Lay in the house. Okay, that's a lot of tools. I mean wrenches. <laughs> Cheers, man. How you doing? Yeah, you know what that kind of comment gets you? Highlight it. Give him a wrench. Block. It gets you a wrench. <laughs> But I will, as it appears, we have some new people in chat. I will review. Uh, everyone here, for the most part, gets a wrench, mm. unless you abuse said wrench power. <laughs> and there are managing moderators hidden in chat. No one knows who they are. Yeah, That's we true. do. Yeah, I know. No. But I, I know also, one if you if you abuse said wrench power, I'm one of the few people that is not a wrench. Or go totally off color as this chat is completely uncensored, as YouTube should be all the time. I have all moderation turned off. Then all moderators get to take out their anger on you. That's right. <laughs> off during the day, anything like that, they get to take it out on you. So, you know. And we don't discriminate as make it, Yeah. Make it, we choose will your actions. This is a self policing channel. You it's, know, it is. I know who wins super wrenches. With great power comes great responsibility. I, 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 I won't. I won't divulge who it was because you you made him a super wrench one time. Uncle Ben. <laughs> exactly. Is he still allowed to have that name? I don't know. I, I mean, when I first became an uncle, I was walking around with a name tag that said Uncle Ben's Rice. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Right Uncle Ben's Mozart. I don't what they say either. Yeah. You're right. Uh, the American Pediatric Association says later starts are better for kids. No one cares what they say. Very true. Correct. Mike Brock in the house. Cheers, all. Cheers, Mike I just Brock. imagine how miserable those kids are first thing in the morning. No shit. They're miserable all day long. I, I was, I was miserable when I started cool. school at 8 o'clock in the morning. But Looks like you need little angels. Well. Are you kidding yeah. me? Trying to get to the bus stop at 7 o'clock in the morning? Yuck. Yeah, hell no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anthony, do you have the 18 year? Lock Lomond 18? Hey, I'll try anything, Eric. No, I don't have the Lock Lomond 18. I was going to, I thought you were talking about the Highland Park 18. How do you not have the 18? Like any bottle. Well, I can get you a bottle or I can send you a sample, whatever you want. You definitely got to try Oogie. That's what I've always heard. I just, I've never seen it. I, I, I've seen it at fair prices, but I've never, I've never been drawn to it. I don't know why. <clears throat> well, the Binnies has everything that I hear you guys talking about all the time. As far as I can tell, I was looking, looking through that store. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a scotch. I was like, what the hell? There's, I have no idea. <laughs> so I bought Port Charlotte 10. Yeah, Port Charlotte 10 is tasty. I won't lie. Yeah. After the samples. Yeah, there you go. Jay says Anthony still has that internal cooks at the bird time. So he's up at 5 Jay, 30. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's you could take the man out of PA, out. but you you could take the man out of PA, but you can't take the PA out of the man. No. <laughs> no. And I'll be driving through that that long, long, long ass state in just a few weeks. On purpose. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> okay. Because on the other side of it is the Weller land and Irish land of Ohio. Ooh, and, wow. below, and below that is the Wonderland of Kentucky. I bet and, you stop in Tennessee. Uh, possibly between the 9th and the 12th. That might happen. I'm not sure yet. All right. Why are you going to be there? Mm -mm. Yeah. No. <coughs> no. <coughs> Excuse me. Great shot. Do I need a sample? I don't need a sample. I mean, if one appeared, I wouldn't be sad, but I don't need it. You always need it. But... Roscoe says, I love it. <laughs> Ro Roscoe, so are you in Owensboro? I'm going to be staying in Louisville for like set, like six, seven days in a couple weeks. So if you want to hook up, burbenfort, gmail.com, hit me up. 
and uh, let me know about that pick. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jerry Black loves that 12-year Viking honor. There you go. Oh, yeah. I've got the 15 Yeah, so I sent Anthony the 17-year uh, full volume. Full the one volume. that looks like yep. a speaker cabinet. Yep. That's yep. what's left of my full volume. There's a one-ounce pour. i got to send a picture to you. My yeah. bottle's gone. Mm -hmm. That if was you want, so good. John, if you want, save that to drink with me and Anthony when we do it, and I'll give okay. Jim some of mine. I got this. I had no idea this existed. I got it as a Christmas present when it first came out in 2018. They're still here. Yeah, it was a phenomenal bottle. It's so much different. Highland Park just in bourbon cask. Mm -hmm. It's so much different than what you're Not used to. Much it is. Cheers, Gary. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Marty's asking Z Man, Buffalo Trace or early times tonight? <laughs> Buffalo Trace. I told him, though. It's right there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. With a little, with a little of this. James Slay says, "I'm not sure I trust Gary Franchi with wrench power. He makes fun of me on Facebook." <laughs> now, here's the thing: hey, uh, Gary's you. love language, as most people might not know, is very similar to my own. If he breaks your balls, then you're in, then you're on his team. Just yep. Don't Good take job. it personally. He's got the worst but bourbon. It does channel. make me think about something. The world's worst bourbon channel, actually. So, James, yes, like that oh, does fine. make me think about something. Hmm. What you're thinking? Be careful. Yes, I'm oh. thinking. Dan 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 dangerous just, thing, indeed. That's so retarded. Yeah. 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 Cheers, Donald. Yeah. Cheers, Donald. Did, did that arrive today, Mark, or yesterday? Yesterday. Okay, that's yesterday. what I thought. Except I, think I got the notice. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And I sent you an email, but at first I didn't have the spelling right for whatever reason. It was still in the memory of my email thing, so it didn't work. Hey, I, I need to get more of color. You do. Here, here, here is the place where fuck isn't a word. It's a comma. Well, it's funny when I went to send you the stuff, so you know when things were coming. Mm -hmm. I didn't look until a couple days later, but your email had came back saying undeliverable. And I go, well, that's not true because <clears throat> you and I were talking back on this, on that thread and oh, I just friend. replied to it. So, huh? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Clint look, I'll in the drop house. It off another one any day. Cheers, Clint. Uh, see you in a couple weeks, buddy. Hopefully. Whatever, man. I appreciate it. all. thank you. Oh yeah. I actually saw a bottle that might have your name on it today, Clint. I got to send you a text. Uh, go check Nashville Barrel Company if you go to Tennessee. Maze Balls, yes. Uh, yeah. Nashville Barrel Company is MGP Wonderland. I do, Wonderland. I have only been there once, and uh, I'm very sadly near the end of. I think I have one or two left, <clears throat> but here's what's left of my first. NBC pick. I have at least one bottle left, maybe two. Mm. <laughs> I've only had rye from there, but what they do with MVP rye is phenomenal. Yeah, what they do with everything. Mm -hmm. Well, MGP in itself is good juice. <laughs> James is in Louisville now, actually. Well, I'll be there first to second week of April. I don't know if you'll still be there, but cheers, man. Hope mm. you're uh, finding some good stuff there to sip on. Mm -hmm. Roscoe, yes, I'm in Owensboro. Definitely let you know about the pick and get you a sample oogie. Well, there you go. Well, then hopefully you'll come up to Louisville at our Airbnb and drink your ass off. Just saying. <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Irish Whiskey Yoda, Donald Rance in the house. Good evening, hey, folks. Hey, Donald. Here cheers. Quick break to work. Cheers. What should I pour here? I'm empty. Exactly. <laughs> what are you saying <laughs> on, Anthony? Anything? Yeah, that's the, that's the email I got, Mark. But who knows? Okay. Yeah, Anthony, I sent it. I sent it again think... because I forgot the R in bourbon neophyte. I said my my thing my thing said boob boobon neophyte, and it just worked. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't work. I had to correct it. That's, R as long there. as it gets there, I don't care what people it, call me. As long as it's yeah, not yeah. late for dinner, you, you know what it is. You know what it is. But Google it just couldn't read the doctor's handwriting. <laughs> I like that. That was good. He couldn't read my typing. I, I'm, my handwriting is so bad he couldn't read my typing. That's right. 
<laughs> I like that too. That was good. That's it. World's All right. Worst bourbon Channel. Have you ever watched Shelf Turds? I sure have. I've met the turds in person. In person. I've even made an inappropriate gesture with the turds. And no. Hugged. Yeah. I find it wasn't that. intentionally inappropriate. I just went like I this. the same thing. Behind me. <laughs> All right. I'm popping off. You guys have a good time. All right, it's sweet for me to get cleaned up and ready for my day tomorrow. Cheers, yeah, Anthony. Good. Anthony. Good. Yep, good you're good, welcome. Cheers, I'll bro. see you all later. Ben, cheers. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. take it cheers, easy. Cheers, Anthony. No, no. I need yeah. something in this glass to cheers you, you with. Neophyte in Vegas. I got mine. Don't worry. See? John, you're, you're not on whiskey. Z-Man's on Buffalo Trace. You had a glass in your hand. Yeah, mm. there's nothing in it. I need something in it. Well, reach down to your left or right. Pick up something. Tell me yeah. something to pick up. I guarantee Whatever's I on the floor it. closest. Uh, Anthony, there's a lot of bottles. I know floor. there's a lot of shit on the floor. I know that. I got the end of a 1792 full <laughs> screw. Give, give, give me a direction. Grab that Nashville barrel one that you had. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> Since you said it was so good, open that up. So this is the uh, NBC... Molotov pick. This was a Ukrainian fundraiser huh. at the start of the Ukrainian war, and it says Putin is a dick and he's missing. Wow. That is, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. How, how old is that bottle, Ben? A year. Damn. How old? Like, how long ago did we pick it? No. How long did, did you get the bottle? In the barrel, you mean? No. In your house. It, we, I got it the same day we picked it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And this was picked at, at like the first couple weeks of the the Ukraine-Russia war. What was the other one you showed? Was it uh, Israeli whiskey or something really weird? Israeli. Is that two years already on the war? Oh. I think so. Close to it. Oh, you're not. talking about the a time for war pick. I don't know what I did with that. Yeah. Yes. Oh wow, this cork is shot. This is time to drink this. You're right. Good call, there you Anthony. Go. See, <clears throat> even I know. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Thanks. Give yep. him some of that. Mm. I'll let him give the notes on this one. Does somebody have my info and Eric Gunderson's info so he can give him my contact information? Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> yeah, Eric dropped off a, a package to me. I gotta go through that. I'm excited for that because I, I kind of know what's in there. So, all right, what what's Ethan's call on this one? This is a five year, 121 proof MGP. Oh Jesus! Only a five year. That's no, the proof, though. Fuck. It's like shortbread. Shortbread. All right. Oh, that fucking like tater sticker looks so cool as shit. <laughs> mm. the, the little bit of smoke on this is mainly on the finish. It just kind of hangs around. And then yep. you nose again after you got the smokiness there, and you're like, what is that? A, is, that a, is that a grilled pineapple? What, what is that? It's fruit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little fruit. I don't know about the pineapple, but yeah, some people have, have kind of said tropical. that to me too. Yeah. So shortbread cookie—that's what you get on it. A yeah. grilled peach. That's it. Mm-hmm. A little bit of gingerbread. Toasted that. shortbread gingerbread. Cinnamon. Mm. Armagnac. That's what you're drinking, Bowler. Nice. I also I need to know what to bring up. If I am seeing you Sunday, and I need to know if that's a possibility. Mark's on the King County. There you go. Nope. Oh, there you go. Why is Ben talking, but I'm looking at Cuz? 
because he's uh, you know special. Yeah. Special. Just, just get you damn better watch. looking than Ben. That's for damn sure. Uh, you <laughs> know what? I think he's a little more clean cut. Yeah. yeah. He, he kind of looks more pleasant, actually. Actually, he actually one. takes time, does his hair. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Not much you got to do with that. Kind of like this. Well, that's the whole point. Kind of giant. Tonight, punching bag. Hope it's the other way around. That's it. All right, I'm definitely heading out. Ben, cheers. Cheers, Anthony. Cheers. With a little bit of uh, a again. little yeah. a little Putin is a dick. Well, <laughs> cheers, Anthony. I gotta jump in the shower in a few, but I'll be back. I think of Ben as a dick. Yeah, well. Hey, if anybody wants to draw it. <laughs> you go to NBC. If James pulls some of the barrel, he let Shook Paisley, Roberts, and Aaron have this week. I, I, I might have heard a rumor that Adam Shelton was there too, James. 7130 looked like motor oil. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe uh, he wasn't there for the tasting of that one. We shall see. We shall see. The problem is, is that my group is breaking up in Kentucky on the 9th. And if I can work remotely, which I'm cleared to do, but there's a lot of tumultuous, tumult, a lot of tumultuous stuff going on with work. Um, I potentially need to be back up in Indiana on the 12th and then home by the 14th. So we shall see. Tennessee is a maybe right now. Mm. I have between the 9th and the 12th. It's just a lot more driving on top of all the driving I'm doing. We shall see. Depends if I have a place to crash and we shall see. Honestly, I've been drinking Blanton's since it was my dad's favorite. Okay. Uh, I got a Blanton's gold I can bring up for all there. I got a Blanton's Gold we could crack. I've also got a got a number of store picks from really well known stores. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk about that. Hey, hey, you know what? There's nothing wrong with Blanton's. It just shouldn't be marked up. Yeah, we got shots of Ben's pantry now. Nice. No, that's actually not Blanton's in there. That's that's Blanton straight from the floor. Otherwise no, known as ancient age at age ten year. Here. You might want to get some more paper towels. You're running low back there. Yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? So since I believe he helped come up with it. Fucking trickster over here, motherfucker. Would I be something like that? <laughs> Little uh, Blanton straight from the floor. The bowlers pops Vic. You know, I'll grab a gun and I'll have a pour of that too. All right, I'll wait for you then. You empty? Mm-hmm. There, have some so you can cheers to them too. No problem. There's a little ancient, ancient, age 10 star, otherwise known as Blanton Straight from the Floor. In a Blanton store pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, ironically, a Blanton store pick bottle from Connecticut. Yeah, I would think so. Okay. <laughs> if it's store pick, it's store pick. There you go. The baby one. Let me know when you're ready. Baggy and all kinds of crap in here. It's open. I'm I'm raising a I'm raising a blend straight from the floor to Vic. Here we go, bowler. Here. Cheers, Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers, baller. <laughs> oh, that bar's going to be tainted now. Mm. It does taste sweet after Lockwood. Right? Certainly. Definitely well proof. 90, 93, I forget exactly. I don't think Still I've ever watery. shoot Blanton's, but there's a first time for everyone. Mm-hmm. I need high tests. Still- <laughs> this is 121 in your Glen. 
What are you talking about? That's gone already. You just poured it away. You must be fucking drunk. God, I've had this bottle open for almost five years already. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Looks like a baby tonight. <clears throat> oh, see, I see that. Either I opened this before I started writing dates on it, or my kid opened it and didn't put it on there. That's the one when I walked in the store one day and that and he had Taylor on an end cap in the store and I grabbed both. 40 for Huge Taylor and 60 for Blanton's and I was out the door. It was dumped a bit ago. This is probably the first one I got. Three years ago. <clears throat> Sure. This one's just wearing the fishnet stuff. Might go for me. <laughs> I don't need it this second. If you need it, then fine. <laughs> what I do? Oh, what's this? Thank you very much. I need to copy down Roscoe's email. I don't even know if that's to me, but I think that's to Eric. But I want to email Roscoe anyway. Let me grab a beer. Be right back. My store pick is a little one. 375. Oh, okay. Aww, it's so cute. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a little guy. I actually don't own a 375. I think they only uh, put those picks out in the 375. Wow. That's pretty cool. If they did the whole barrel in 375s, so I think that's awesome because... That mm -hmm. literally so. doubles the amount of people who get it. Yeah, exactly. More people can try it. It's a Southern Illinois distributor's pick, so they probably oh, do that cool. versus a store. So, Mark, what are you doing? Are you going to be able to maybe pop up or down at all? Uh, the dates are when? The 3rd through the 9th in Indy, the 6th to the 7th. Are you going there for totality? You'll be there for uh, the Eclipse totality on the 8th. To tell, so for totality, Indiana, Southern we are Indiana. Either, for totality, we're going to probably be at like 95%. We're either going to be at, Lu I think we're going to be at Lux Row for <clears throat> totality. The hard truth is totality. It's in the totality path, which is pretty cool. They're charging tickets. Be a zoo. My, my, my hometown is 99.8. Yeah. I haven't looked what it is, but I'm sure it's 90 something percent. Yeah, and the fact that I get to do a pick and see a solar eclipse on the same freaking day. Yeah, but and no, then had, after the, and then was... after the eclipse, going to Heaven Hill for a uh, <clears throat> for a pour your own bourbon tour. Nice, nice. It's like it is mid not going to be a bad day. If it's isn't in, week, pit, in the middle of the week, a probably pick, isn't an eclipse work well. and a a do your own bourbon. Yeah, at Heaven Hill. That sounds like a pretty banging day to me, personally. Yeah, I'm kind I mean, of, I'm a little excited about that day. I mean, here's the thing: I won't be in the path. I don't think we'll be able to shoot over to the path of totality, but yeah. um, we're actually picking that morning, if all goes to plan, right now, a special <laughs> barrel of Penelope. Oh. Something uh, something Mike has his hands in. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm waiting to hear a final word on that. Sorry that. Speaking of somebody who's got totality when he puts his boner in front of the sun. What's up, Jody? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> sure, Jody. Sure, Jody. Yeah, I had to take care of a few things before I joined. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't get invited to the after party. I know. Uh, you could be. I could be, but I'm not. I, I, you know what? You were doing a live, man. I didn't invite you. You were. I was not live when you were done. Oh, Damn. All right, I'll start inviting you. Whiskey at 147. Hey, here you go, Jody. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nanu, <laughs> Nanu, or, or no, no, no. There and, you go. Yeah, yeah. The shocker. <laughs> yeah, that's the shocker. Oh, wow. The shocker with a wiggle. <laughs> With, 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 yeah, yeah with, with a wiggle. Yeah. It's that crooked, that's that crooked shocker. That's what there you is. go. Yeah. How to get catchy? 
So I'm gonna right. get cat treats. No, I had to add up my entries all that. Day. No, we really don't hang out for like maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, That's well, it. I go live at nine, and you go. No, at nice there. <clears throat> Dig the bag. I just ordered uh, 20 more cigars from Thompson. So, oh boy, of what? Uh, I don't know if they're going to be good or not, but they were all together. It was $65 for 20 cigars. So they're Churchill's and I just got them because I'm getting a humidor soon. So a big one, big, nice humidor. How big? 300 cigars. Two, 250 to 300. Yeah. I mean... My thing is, I like to enjoy a pour and a cigar at the end of the day, especially through the summer. I just go outside and I have my chair set up in the shade and I just sit there and let my mind, like, it's been doing this all day and I just let it, you know. Yep. So. There you go. Right. Right. What's up, Jay Sells? Cheers, man. How you doing? <clears throat> Um, Jonathan, small chance might show up at Irene's Sunday, just letting you know. Just got done on the Zoom with Shauna Marie D. Had a Buffalo Trace pic she sent me. Surprised me. It was good. There you go. Cool to that. There you go. Uh -huh. Cheers to that. Yeah. <clears throat> What happened to weeks with no beer, John? Uh, I was going to drink beer on opening day next Thursday, but it was too nice today, so I had to stop and get some beer at the gas station. There you go. That is an epic day. Yes. And uh, Eric emailed you, and I might have as well. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheech Artelino in the house. Cheers, mm. brother. Hey, Cheech. How you doing, Cheech? Cheers, Cheech. God damn, MGP is delicious, especially when I picked it. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. It's phenomenal. It's only a five year, but it's phenomenal for five. Does it hang with the ten, eight to 12 year? No, it doesn't. But is it delicious? Yeah. Does it hang with a seven year? Yeah, it does. I'll tell you what. Uh, Art He's got your MGP Battle Royale. You hey, can't pick what's up, Dunny? Long there. time no see, man. Cheers, brother. How you doing? Well, Art by Sparkle sent us some samples, you know, Mark and I, and that mm -hmm. was no Bach uh, distillery, and they distill, age, everything, you know, bottle there on site. It's not MGP juice, put it that way. Um, that's yeah. pretty good stuff, man. I mean, I, oh, it's, sure. it's young, it's young, but I think they've got some potential going on. So, Jonathan, actually, Bonnie's on a trip up in Albany right now. And uh, she forgot to refresh her samples before she left. So I checked the store closest to her hotel, and they actually had the same bottle. So she's drinking that right now, too. It was not pre I just got pizza handed to me. Okay, I don't know how that works on a stream, but okay. Just shut the uh -huh. fuck up. <laughs> shut up and eat. Shut up and eat. See, this is what I told you about Stadler and Waldorf earlier, Ben. You think of New York Slice right there? <laughs> yep. There you go. I'm oh, glad you like it, man. I'm trying and, to uh, highlight uh, Great Shot's comment, but I can't. Awesome. I don't control the show. <laughs> man, let me know when you're at Irene's. I may have to have you pick up a of home. All right. I mean, it's a, it's a maybe right now. My goal is to try and get up and see Baller. I might drag him in that direction. We'll see. I have to see how he's doing, how his family's doing. Yeah. You know. We'll see. I don't care. All I know is I'm coming up to... I, I am definitely driving up there and having a drink with Lee. That's fucking happening. There you go. Mm -hmm. Dunny's bottle, on the Mash and Journey Art of the Spirits double O. Damn good. There you go. That KC is so good. I'm glad you're happy with it. There you go. Bonnie says it's reminding me when I usually warm my way up to cast. Why I usually <laughs> warm my way up to cast drink, but it's good. So put a little water in it. You can proof it down. You're allowed. Wow, wow. You can. It's not, so much that, it's, not, it's not so much that. It's the following freaking day. 
Oh my god. Yeah, uh, but the following day you have ibuprofen, liquid IV, and coffee at your gut. Yeah. yeah. Truth. You know what? I I got a freaking. Oh, I got a knock freaking hurt that I just had. That's a small yellow bottle you're drinking. I, I said, what it's so fucking. That's not Blanton's. That's Blanton's straight from the floor. Ah. I got a, I got, I got a knock. I got essentially a, leftover barrels of Blanton's that blended together. I got a knock creek. Well, we, barrel. Have crap. we have so much better shit. Because Blanton's was Bourbon Baller's favorite, got father's it. favorite oh, drink who passed away. Got it. Mm. My got drunk it. asshole of a cousin over here. I'm sorry, I don't know all the history of every single person you deal with. Uh, well, oh, there you go. She put it down, only poured a little in my plastic hotel cup. There you go. Yeah. I, I should 150 on Kill Home anyway, but I'll let you know. The proof will melt your hotel cup. Oh, I have that. Uh, I haven't, I've never cracked it because I don't mm -hmm. remember where it is. J Jonathan, I have that M&J pick. What, what you got there? No, pretty oh, a little it's single bar reserve. There you go. And the nice. proof on it will knock me on the floor. Yeah, right. they have a couple of proofs on there. A little warm up. Yeah, and that's sure. Mm -hmm. All I heard, Birdman, was somebody was behind you looking for free whiskey bitching about it. I, I don't know what. Yeah, that's that. That's what you call a relative. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> he paid for it with pizza, though. Okay. I mean, he traded so whiskey said, for pizza. Heard so. was somebody begging behind me for free whiskey. <laughs> and I said, that's what you call family. Yeah. <laughs> Bitching about free whiskey. Sorry. I guess I don't know what I can do to help you. So that, I guess. There's, there's, there's nothing. Back no. in the face, so. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, as long as it's for the dick, you're happy, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucking ass. <laughs> hey, these shelves are too heavy, man. You can help by lightening them up a little bit. You know? Yeah, well, yeah. Have they gone through? All right. Good night, hon. Russ is leaving the hotel at 730. Right, Kick All those right. robots' asses. Cheers, buddy. Kick your boyfriend's ass. Or whatever the fuck you consider now. Do you guys all hear the complaint department behind me? Oh, I do. I hear it. No. Yeah. That's what I get for having uh what do you call this? One of these cardioid mics with an amplifier. <laughs> you can hear this asshole. You're right, Ben. I just fucking ignore it, brother. <laughs> I gotta put up with you oh. all day. Oh, it's all bullshit. You can pick, put up with your uh, with your media family instead. You want me to play Russian roulette? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> mine, mine hangs out in the living room and leaves me alone. And she's totally cool with this. Right. She goes, go hang out with your moonshiner friend. Here I am. Worse than others. Now, we did a thing on Lazy Susan one time. We called it bourbon roulette. And we had, like, pours all the way around. Are you but, serious? Holy but shit. one of them was tea. And one of them was Listerine. And we would <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit, Jody. Oh. Jody. Jody. My main goal is not to get my ass kicked by a robot or my nose punch, which happened last year. Good night, all. Good night, Hunter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Bonnie. Good night, Bonnie. We got to give a robot with a 10,000-volt taser. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Mm. All right, what tour is next? We got uh, oh, yeah, 49 minutes until Northwest Bourbon. I think that's really? Pizza I have while. five minutes till bed night. Yeah. <laughs> night, there you go. So what what are we drinking now? I'll pick some, dude. Pick some. Pick some floor whiskey. Turn around the chair and see what you grab with your yeah. hands. That's, that's what I would do. I had like 10 bourbons earlier. I'm drinking Coors Light to rehydrate. That's a good idea. We will take a hydration break brought to you by the Agro. Uh, there we go. Well, I guess it's better than drinking Bud Light. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah, I took Bud Light on here about a year ago. And, no, this is Rocky uh, Mountain piss water. Yeah, you yes, see transitioning into a woman. I'll oh, see Jody. I was drinking the banquet stubbies on your stream earlier. Oh yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, if I'm gonna drink a Miller, man, I like the regular Miller. The but I get the high life? Huge, huge fat if I drink all the Miller. Oh. The the Miller gen, genuine draft. Oh yeah, yeah I see that's my favorite. That's my favorite Miller. Yeah, man, I love that stuff. It is really good. A one twenty two. You want to go Elijah Craig? Yeah. I don't. I'm, that's kind of a deviation from where we're at. Yeah, just do whatever you want, brother. Come on. I'm not reaching down there to pick up one of the bottles that are open. So you're on your own. Yeah. What the he, fuck? He, He's Other dazed classic. and confused, Bourbon. Just tell him what to drink. Yeah. All right. My floor whiskey is getting a little dangerous. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. Look, I just looked down at my Sagamore Cal Calvados finished. Oh, Look at the cork. <laughs> Yo, man. That's what happens when you play roly poly with the fucking bottles on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably from the other night when you said, ah, oh, shit, something fell. That bottle's not rolling anywhere. Look at that bottle. <laughs> no one asked you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you said, oh, shit, something You're talking fell. about rolling and a bottle of shit like a big-ass diamond. Okay. Well, you got an right, old Carter you know, back there, you know, just grab an old Carter and drink it. Yeah. That's the same <laughs> bottle that cross the brain damage. Yeah. I'm, I'm going with a little Roger Rabbit single-barrel uh, bullet. A.K. Schmarsh Moses. Because this thing's getting long in the tooth and the cork's a little... Uh, oh, that's pretty loose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a hoe cork. Yeah, the <laughs> ethanol is about 20% less than it used to be. Yep. And that's why natural cork should not be used anymore. That's mm -hmm. right. Synthetic. Use the rubbers. Yeah. yeah. And even if you're Catholic, you can still use a rubber cork. Yep. Mm. With that. Let's get a close up of that pizza. I mean, it was reheated in a toaster, Cheech. Yeah, and it does have some teeth marks in it, but. Uh, <laughs> and I won't lie, this place makes better wings than they make pizza. Yeah. But uh, there you go. Yeah, the lost. See what the thick of this. We got take a bite out of it. I'll have a vodka slice. There you go. There you go. It'd be better than probably the shit in the fucking Is that a salad. macaroni, and, macaroni cheese and cheese pizza? pizza? Oh, no, yeah. it's a penny all of vodka slice or oh. a ziti oh. slice. Oh, I mean, still got pasta on top of it. No. Uh, it's macaroni and cheese pieces. I found it a big it. <laughs> penny alla pasta. There's a place here that does the mac and cheese slices with uh, they use penny on theirs. Good night, Roscoe. Cheers, man. Hey, Mr. Roscoe. Great Chat. And just snip the tip of that cork. No, I circumcised. Uh, I circumcised it, Chris. I hate to say this. This place better stick the fuck away because the pizza ain't that great. Mm. I mean, it is reheated. No. Peace, love, and whiskey. Oh, I'm hitting the sack. Cheers, great shot. Yay. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, Mark. <laughs> there you go. Carbs on carbs on carbs. <laughs> Reheating pizza shouldn't ruin it. That's the only way to do it. No. Yeah. Picks up the complaint. I earned this corporation, and definitely this motherfucker did too. <laughs> Anybody know what he's talking about? Your fucking stomach, you fat fuck. <laughs> wow. I tell you, with family like that, who needs enemies? Is your bloodline related to the Rickles at all? I can understand why you why you the three people on your shirt is not one of him, or he's not one yeah, of the three exactly. people on your shirt. I understand now what you're talking about before. So, yeah. holy shit, Mojo in the house. He's saying, "Bless up, Chichamunga, Mungus." My bad. Cheers, Mojo, even though you didn't cheers me. Mojo. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Oh, there you go. What's up, Burbs, Cran, Z-Man, Good Doc? There you go. 
Here's Mojo. So are you hey, going to Hard Truth for the uh, totality? I doubt Mark? it. No, I doubt it. I mean, it's 98%. I got to work. It's a Monday. Uh, you know, I'll, be, I'll be looking out my window or standing on this porch like I did the last time the eclipse came mm -hmm. through. So what's the percentage? Is there some place? There's probably a website where you can look up the percentage. Yeah, you can look through the path of the totality, and then you can pick a town. You can put it on there and show us you what it is. It's like 99.5 or something here, or 0.8 or something ridiculous. Why did you just call the Green River? The shit you're pouring now is 10 times better than that. Because it's a topic people might be interested in. I try to be make things interesting for the viewer. It's not all about me or you. Why? You're an opinionated asshole. I think my shitty cousin is drunk. You think? <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> you you want to know what he's really into? But sex. <laughs> <laughs> You stink, and I don't like you. <laughs> what are you sipping on, Mark? Anything? Are you still Maybe. on Scott? Uh, well, I had that. I had that. Uh, Blind Tone days. Yeah, this is still the Lock Loma. A little bit of Lock Loma I poured over here. Yeah. Mm. I'll wait till later. Later, we fucking tomorrow then. There you go. Cheech, hit the fucking like. I'm sipping Ben Holiday 6 7 better, though. Mm. Okay. Cheers, Mojo. Mojo, I'll be driving through your hood in a couple weeks, too. Well, hell, there's twice as many likes as there are viewers right now. Well, that's that is nice. pretty impressive. You ought to hit it, but hey. Quite a show. <laughs> yeah. Quite a show. <laughs> What can I say? My cousin's an asshole. <laughs> but he's drinking free whiskey, so, you know. Yeah, exactly. Best kind, right? That's right. Yeah, does it ever taste better than when it's free? Like, if you're at a distillery doing a pick, there is nothing like it. And ha part of it is that you're sipping it right out of the barrel or a fresh pull pulled or something that somebody's never had. Yep. The other part of it is, is it's freaking free. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, they expect you to buy that big ass fucking barrel, which is not free. But, uh, I mean, that's supposed to be a Jew. You're supposed to buy the whole fucking barrel. We buy the whole fucking barrel if it's good. No, fair. And depending on what you're going after, they can run anywhere between uh, 50 well, Mojo, and the pla 20 Mojo, the place I always stop is a little place called Permanti Brothers. Just saying. Hmm. He's going for the sandwich, not the bourbon. Oh, in PA, in Western yeah. PA, or or Eastern Ohio? Yeah, it's all about that sandwich. I never had it, but they talk about it all the time in Steelers country, and I'm a Steelers. You fan. never had a Primanti Brothers? No, I've never been out that way. Actually, I, I stayed in, in Johnstown for a while. I never really went to Pittsburgh. Nope. Give us a little and light. Please. But on the interstate. That's about it. Or near it. It's not really even through it there. It's pretty ways off the interstate, isn't it? This is Let me know if you stop or need recommendation. <laughs> or if you need me to have someone come up. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love Mojo, it. Mojo, maybe I'll have you meet me for a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. So, Ben, you have a guy that knows a guy. No, I went to a, a distillery in Kansas City, and I was talking to him, and I was I was like just you know throwing everything out. Oh, you need to talk to this guy; he's co-owner, blah blah blah. And I, I talked to him a little bit, and he's like, "Yeah, this right here, this is something you've never had." And da, da, da. I said, "I don't believe it." And finally, he started pouring me shit that was like like their master's keep bullshit from the back, you know, and. I didn't pay a dime for it, but it was only because I was just ragging him about, nah, it can't be that good. It can't be that much better. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Which master's keep was it? 
Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was uh. The, was no, I mean, it was, I'm talking about for, for the distillery. It was there. It was like the master was, distiller's private stash in the back. Yeah, stuff private that he stash. Liked best. You know, he's, the he's founders like, keep the honey barrels know, that, that the master stuff. had. From what distillery? Uh, uh, Jay Riggers and Holiday. Oh. Jay Riggers in Kansas City. Wait, what did you call him? Jay Riggers in Kansas City. No, it was some good shit. Man. I was guessing Ben Holiday. What did you say, Jody? Jay Riegers. 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 No, yeah. Notice how he's emphasizing that E now. <laughs> Jay Riegers in Kansas City. Man, if you wonder how to properly pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> You know, no, there's nobody had to say anything. Nope. <laughs> I mean, everybody was like quiet as a church mouse. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but we still knew what you were saying. <laughs> and these freaking New York people. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh, I just said it, brother. I love you a bunch of... I know they're bottled and bond is You're six and a half. And years I don't old. like you. There you go. Soft wheat ain't all that great in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he wasn't talking about that place. I thought he was talking about. It just lets a lot of wood sugars come out. Is that is that your stage name, Jody? Wood sugars. Wood sugars, that's it. What, right wood there. sugar, right there. That's wood that's sugar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wouldn't be a bad uh, a porn name, that wood sugar. No, yeah, that would be a good one. Jody's Please. saying it like there ain't 12 videos with that name on it already. Hey, I don't know, I don't watch porn <laughs> starring him. <laughs> no, here All we right. go. Hang on, show of hands. Who says Jody's a liar? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I don't watch that porn. You know. <laughs> Whatever. Of course you didn't watch it. You were in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was good to That's right. I forget. He doesn't like to watch his own work. Nah, I, I would be Splinter Sugar if I were in it. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like this like crooked and like yeah you know they got pills for that now right yeah well, hey, don't, 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 don't describe it Jody come on jo Jody's name in college was the fish hook you can't, yeah. You, you, yeah you can't you can't fix crooked I mean you know so. you can surgically correct it yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot of bullshit. They call that Peronis. <laughs> is that the kind of sandwich you're getting at the Pramontes? Are you going to Peroni Brothers? Is that where you got the sandwich? Yeah. What? Okay. Ironically, I generally get the New Yorker. <laughs> so who thinks that uh, a Firehouse Subs was good? Was before. I do. I, do. I got I got one down the street from me. I love it. Was good. What happened? I, well, honestly, well, what I happened I was once. when COVID hit, they took all the hot sauces off the shelf. And now they only give you the one little old thing. It's not hot at all, and you get their like signature sauce, and that's it. Or you don't get anything. The New York steamer was really good if you could put some of the the wait what. New York I was say, is that like a Cleveland one too or what? No, it's New York. It's different. <laughs> what's the no. news? I've heard of the yeah, Cleveland Finn, What's the New York now? steamer like? New, New York, York steamer. A New York steamer. A New York steamer? I only know about the Cleveland steamer. <laughs> I don't know. The New York steamer from Firehouse Subs. Look it up. Google it. Whatever. I don't there's, know. A, there's a lot of places after COVID hit because it was just so jacked. Nice. All right, hold on. Nice. Let's do this. New York steamer. Fire is, here, here's a better question. 
Will got... the first result be Firehouse Subs? Uh, maybe. Or, it or, may be. Or, or, or Urban Dictionary. Because the first now, place I ever had a New York steamer was in Fort Worth, Texas. Hang on. The first place, yeah. Hang on. Mm. I can do this. First place he ever had a New York steamer was in Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> that's right. Firehouse well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, well, well. that's a firehouse sub. Yeah. I Wonder think it probably involved there. roping and riding if it was in Fort Worth. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't claiming it to be a New York, got true New York driving the steers. It was a <laughs> Only two things from Fort Worth. Queers and steers, and you ain't got no horns, do you, boy? <laughs> <laughs> the officer and a gentleman. Boy, Lou Gossick Jr., yeah, dang. I was going to ask you where the fuck that came from. Yeah, that was, where's uh, the bears? We got no. We got yeah, no, I don't see no hey, horns on you, boy. <laughs> no, hey, blue Paul is in chat. What's that? Urban the poll is in the chat. <laughs> will, will the first search result on Google for uh, New York uh, Steamer uh, be uh, Urban Dictionary or Firehouse Subs? Yeah, we know. I don't know. This, uh, what was it? It's not going to be Firehouse Subs. That's got to be Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably, give it a minute before searching. There's, there's like more hits probably on that search to Urban Dictionary than there is anywhere else. Yeah. It's just a, an algorithmic thing. Bong thief. Cornholio. Hey, how was it? Great <laughs> Cornholio. Do you have TP? Do you have TP? I just saw the theme, scene the other day where they're working at Burger World and the guy comes in to do a stick up. That's behind the counter. This is a stick up. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> they, it, when they were in Mexico and they got off the, the bus and they started <laughs> screaming TP for my bunghole, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Oh, Beavis and Butthead. Classic shit, brother. Mm -hmm. uh. Yep. Mike Judge, is that what, what uh, that was a guy? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, at, wow. look, at the, look at the count, Ben. <laughs> The what? Count. Look at the count. Look at the vote count. Yeah, it's getting there. We have seven <laughs> votes so far. Eight votes. Yeah. Well, we got twenty six on here. Fucking vote on that shit. <laughs> yeah, this is important. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> vital. This is we vital. This is a vital vote. We won't know until the poll is through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's kind of the same thing as saying Wikipedia. Yeah, we have 10 votes. W Wikipedia is the god of the internet. I like the one about time zones. They thought they could go into the future. <laughs> <laughs> is my cousin go to bed or is he on the couch? Uh, I, th I think my cousin went to bed. I think uh -oh. he bitched out. Yeah, you know. But we, have, we have 32 minutes till Northwest Bourbon. Hey, anytime you're bitching about free bourbon, it's time to go to bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does a lot to help me too. So wait, now Mark pushed it to twelve fifteen. What is this bullshit? That's what fucking. That's what people do. I'm texting him. What's this twelve fifteen bullshit? I'm <laughs> hey, you can point. you can set your watch by my Thursday show. I start on time. I end on time. That's all I'll say about that. No. Yeah, but nobody ever wins except for the same people. Well, I'm changing. <laughs> I'm looking at how, how many how many sample kits does our price sparkle have? Uh, all of them. But um, <laughs> I yeah, will say that's, this. Yeah, that's I'm looking into getting a drum and doing tickets. 
so that there's no electronic bullshit involved. That would be but kind of weird. Art of the also <laughs> spent a lot of money on the show and had thousands of entries. And I've cut the entries back. All right, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Well, pay to play, buddy. Pay to play. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How, how many names were on that wheel last time? Uh, there were over 18,000. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Proof I don't bullshit at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there were eighteen thousand some odd names. <laughs> hey, hey, Jody, you did a the live stream one time when everything was defunct and there was nobody out here. No, I appreciate that, Chef. So when I watch your show, I just I just watch it to watch the live stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't give a shit. And I I love fucking Mark. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Well, I wanted yeah. to change my answer, but I can't see the poll yeah. anymore. So I mean, uh, it's so five forty-five my time, so it's perfect when I get up for Mark to just jump on the couch and you know just relax yeah. and watch the guys. But hey, man, you know, if you can just throw in the hashtags, I mean, we'll, we'll get mm -hmm. to it. That's yeah. fun. And uh, you got two tonight, John. <laughs> I was, I saw your name down here. Yeah. I don't think I wanted to do tonight, though, but. But I also like if people repeat when they're taking mm -hmm. off and I yeah. go until somebody new wins. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. The uh, hashtags are pretty good tonight, too. Mm -hmm. The OCKS was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. OCKS. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't give that many. FCKS. Yeah. Can I buy a letter for that? <laughs> buy a vowel? Mm. Oh, with the hashtag was OCKS. So like, can I buy a letter? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, we have twenty-two people watching. Cam has a hundred and five people watching. Wow, Cam still going? Yeah, Who's Cam. Some Good guy job. who make who yes, makes up so things about laser codes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh... where's and where's a flannel in March? <sighs> I don't, I don't know. know. Whatever. Damn, Jer Jerry's going B five twenty three for a nightcap. There you go. Okay. It's a little travel nightcap. That'll nice. put you. That'll put you on it. Yeah. Yep. Woo! Let's see if I got an answer from Mark. Well, you actually, you actually text him. Of course, dude. Did I actually text him? Hey, I got his fucking shut up. I got. <laughs> you know what? I got his fucking number, and I leave people on a stream like you. Look, what did I say? I can't read that. What's this fifteen after shit? <laughs> I'm hammered and trying to keep an audience. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can I can be the the voice of I, I can read a teleprompter. All right, here you go. Go for it. No, I just <laughs> I, I did that. I, I, I read the teleprompter. I don't have a teleprompter. He sure is, Lee. He sure is. Cheers, brother. What armagnac you sipping on? Uh, and Lee, not even kidding, I was going to bring up something a lot more special than Blanton's Gold to pop to your pops. But uh, if Blanton's or Blanton's Gold would be the one, let me know. Yeah, you're right. He went to 915. Light stream hanging up. I can't help it with the gold, but I did see it on a uh, drop today. I Back have Blanton's to... Gold thanks to Bobby oh, Bourbon. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the liquor store does these trios every so Actually, often and right that was some other there. things for like 450 bucks or something stupid hang on I it's believe right it. i see the box i see a box 
Yeah, it looks it like is a gold fine. neck. Bourbon and bullshit area. Yeah, I see a gold neck. Is a gold neck on that box? Yeah. Yep. We're back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, but what letter does it have? Uh, I can go look. No, I don't care. Don't go look. <laughs> okay. I thought you might know. I have no idea because I don't care. It's a Blanton's gold that I have because of a friend. End of story. Like, <laughs> that's where, that's where the, that's where it begins and ends. <laughs> you know. Not only that, John. It's a gold box. I now it's I will say I, every four <laughs> Blanton's gold I've ever had, I've enjoyed. I, I think that Blanton's gold should be base clan blends that is way more tastier at a little over 100 proof mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giggity <laughs> yeah now that is a gold that I have from overseas thanks to bourbon battalion Bobby oh it was an overseas one yeah, it's a 700. Don't care. So, is the poll over yet? What are the results? Oh, that's true. I forgot I made a poll. It's almost like I've been drinking. We have 14 votes. Let us end the poll. We have 64% Urban Dictionary, 35%. You know, that's a perfect... That wrong. That's a perfect poll for me because there's actually enough statistical deviation that we didn't add up to 100%. <coughs> I was going to change my vote though too to make it one more for Firehouse. <laughs> All right, well let's let's do this now. What was I googling? New York steamer. Yep. Oh, that's right, New York steamer. Yeah. Now, you know they've all had time to Google all this. <laughs> Firehouse, Firehouse sucks. wins. Wow. Bam! There we go. New York yeah. Steam. Mm. All right, That's let's see story. how many down we have to go to get to Urban Dictionary. Food Hussy? That's Firehouse Fire Sub Switzerland. Fire House. It's probably going to take Fire a long House, time because that doesn't Fire apply. Because that's not. Firehouse, Copycat Firehouse, Firehouse. You have to eliminate Yo. the New York part before it. Uh, the other is, hold up. Is Safe Search on or something? I, I need to double check this because something's wrong here. Safe uh, it's search. All firehouse. Oh, safe Search is off, as I profess. <laughs> no, it's uh, if they have a sandwich on the menu, that's why it came up. I did the Google thing. Yeah. I was going to change my vote, but I couldn't change my vote. So, what's, what's on oh, the sandwich, actually? So what you're saying is you cheated. I tried, but it didn't work because I already voted for the other thing. Right. 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 How right. far right. do we have to go to we get the Urban Dictionary? Whoa, oh, there whoa. it is. There it is. Where? It probably defines it as a New York sub. Yeah. Uh, sandwich. <laughs> All right, Jody, would you read this for the class? Okay, I will read this. I can read a teleprompter. <laughs> Much like the Cleveland steamer, except that while you are steamrolling the fecal matter onto your partner's chest, you yell, <laughs> I'm working here. I'm working here. <laughs> in a New York <laughs> Yeah. Oh. There we I go. You enjoyed me last night by giving her a New York steamer instead of a regular Cleveland steamer. I thought. Yeah. I thought. Oh, hold on. We, got another, we got another definition here, Joe. Okay. A New York steamer is a sexual act in which the male, after having anal, retracts his shit-covered dick and awaits the chick to lick her own shit off his cock. No, hey, a, that's, man, that's a, I screwed that's this that's hot a, chick last night. That's, cool. That's, no, that, 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 that that's a dirty New stuff. York steamer. That's, that's a dirty Sanchez. Now that well, no, a dirty Sanchez where you wipe it on her top lip and make her smell it, but that's yeah, yeah. different. Uh, that well, is all worse. It's this all is it's worse. It's all I am it. not reading the. I am only reading the teleprompter. I'm like, think of me like, like, 
<laughs> okay, did you read the little banner though? Get the New York uh, Steamer mug. <laughs> no, I, I am only reading. I am. I am. Uh, wait, what was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, news man, anchor man. I'm just reading the teleprompter. That's all. <laughs> Well, can we go back? What was on the what was on the sandwich from Firehouse? I have no idea. It's like a few meats on there, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, take that I to the know, office and see if you get called to HR. <laughs> yeah, no shit, huh? I had no well, idea this was a shit sexual involved thing. in this mug. Why would Firehouse come up with something that is a? Uh, <sighs> Oh, did you read the back of the mug with the definition? Because they were they were owned by Cleveland's <laughs> <laughs> Eric's like, boom, I won. And she's <laughs> like, I'm out. Hey, I mean, y'all are making me feel bad now about going, I love the new New York steamer. You know, all these times. <laughs> we know you do, Jody. We know yeah. you do. Just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I thought Firehouse was owned by uh, retired firefighters. That, that brings the new term stuff. to that brings the new term to the the shit eating grin on his face. Hey, yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Firehouse, okay. up. New York steamer, it's so great, and I had no idea it was like a, you smear sure. shit on something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe Firehouse is owned by Todd Nanny from Two Ten Ninety Two. I Maybe. thought it was owned by firefighters. Well, if if it was owned by two ten ninety, Todd would run the place. But every time you got there, the door would be locked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Andy would be like, "No, nah, you they, ain't come." They donate proceeds to firefighters and first responders and stuff. Okay. Like that. Right, the uh, okay. Stuff. There you go. All right. Yeah. I've never eaten a firehouse sub, but I've seen them in an airport. That's about the extent yeah, of it. I, I have one here, man. I love that food here. is good. And that counter was nasty with all those steamers on there. My God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was steamer nasty. Cody, what are you drinking? Of course, Light. I drank nine bourbons earlier. I am drinking Coors Light. Are we supposed to be impressed by that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you're not. I, I, I am in right, control. Who else, of who else is a man here whiskey? and drinking whiskey? I am in control of my own destiny. I drank uh, a lot of bourbon there earlier. There you go. So no. little I'm benchmark bonded. Coors Light now. If it's not Scotch, it's crap. Oh. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Just drink it, Jody. Yeah, really. If it's not Scotch, it's clap. Yep. <laughs> clap. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that means a whole little different thing there, huh? I have to go. Uh, That's like a Scott. The golf clap is like a Scotch clap. That's perfect. Peace out. The person you're trying to reach is drunk. Please try your call again. <laughs> Sounds like going to Scotland and getting a clap from a sheep or what? Yeah, no shit on. Steamed sheep? No, getting a clap from a sheep. Oh, you don't want that. No. Sorry. Bottle issues down here. Who's clinking those bottles? Would you quit no, clinking those bottles? Yes, sir. I tell you, sorry. They're Clink done. The I'm, I'm done. I'm Did done. you hear that? Sorry, honey. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Eh? There you go. Are there any Canadians around? We don't worry about the A. Yeah. Uh, no, Donald's still at work yet. So that's a pretty good pour, that Buck Loman 12. It's a totally surprised package. Hand delivered. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Hey, so Mark, what do you think of it, Mark? It's good. I like it. That's a $25 to $30 bottle, by the way. Yeah, I know it wasn't expensive. It's good. No. You can get their 18 for 70 around here. It's a steal. Yeah, 70 to 80. Hmm. Don't pay more than that. Yeah. Cheers, huge. Is it different? Different finish? Is it just aged longer? Well, obviously it's I mean, obviously aged, aged longer. I know the numbers. Uh, are I don't sure. know the difference in finish. Um, American I have oak a bottle around here. It's American just oak. Different. Plus, it's got a cool stag on it. Mm. Mm -hmm.
Wow, chat isn't even moving anymore. I guess everybody's had it with me. Still says there's 22 people watching. Yeah, because just fucking hanging out watching this drinking bullshit. Yep. Not True. About that. Just well, saying, that, if you want to come we have are, We are that entertaining, man. Come on. Yeah. We, got, we got good stuff to say. There you go. Tomorrow's going to be an experience, I'll say you that. And you're, you're working on West Coast time, which makes it worse. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm attempting to hold up till West Coast time. I will take 48 here in Arizona, so. Mm -hmm. And Mark wants to go at 9.15. He usually <laughs> goes at 9, but he put a 15-minute buffer. Dude, he's got I fucking guess. kids, and he does shit, so. Just, he can take know. care of the dogs, parole the neighbor, patrol the neighborhood. <laughs> no, 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 he patrols the neighborhood about <laughs> 10 after, after, right? After. after. Uh, ten, between 10 and 11, he has to patrol the perimeter. I thought you said parole the neighborhood for a minute there. <laughs> I might have. <laughs> so last night about yeah, what, 6 30, all of a sudden I hear this screaming. I'm like, uh, yeah, look out the window. So the house across the street and two doors down, there's six county sheriffs and deputies have the house surrounded. Guns uh, drawn, pounding on windows, yelling at a guy that came out. And I stayed that way till about 10 o'clock last night. And then they all left, so I figured they arrested the guy. I didn't hear any gunshots, but no. <laughs> welcome to small town redneck world. Hey, I, I, I'm in big, I'm in big town. About about ten years ago, we had two kids drag racing down the main street, and when they drag raced down the main street, one of them fucking flipped in one of the neighbors' fucking yards, and I literally had fucking half the neighborhood because I'm in a corner lot. They were filming the shit because the helicopter had to come down, air back one of the kids out of cars. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck just happened right now? And I'm out there, you know, hey, man, hey, what's going on, my boys? <laughs> yeah, just, you know, and you get that shit in every fucking neighborhood, brother. Did you shut up? What? Did you shut up? Did you shut up? Topic, what are you searching for now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that on a friendly neighborhood mid south then, voice? So was what? Is that a friendly neighborhood mid south voice? The friendly no, neighborhood like mid south voice. I don't know who you yeah. talk about. Right. Right. Little Never Derek, Derek P. Derek P. Who is that? Is that? The Mid-South is filled with men with very large dicks. That's nice. I'm always off the screen. I can listen again. That was mm. his voice, but you had played a different clip. Oh, I, I've got all kinds of Derek clips. Yeah, the joke. <laughs> You just play the numbers, right? You just play numbers. His voice. 68. Was that his voice? Uh, that, that, that clip about destroyed me. I can't listen to that anymore. I come from a long line of whores. Yeah. It needs to come with hookers and and blow. I like her ass. God damn it. You don't need to exploit the man. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, we don't. We don't have a really big dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can exploit him. Biggest thing in the south. <laughs> that, uh, that guy's not in the south. No, he's going to move back to the north. You're right. He's not. He's good. He's in the. Uh, oh, man. He's in the. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Beaver. Isn't that yeah, movie that's called Lime Lizards of the Northeast? Yes. Nice Beaver. Yep. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. <laughs> nice Beaver. 
Thank you. Thank you. I just said it's stuff. I've got. I can I, help you with that. I, I've gotten a lot of junk cards <laughs> off of the truck stops out here, John. You, you wouldn't know. Wouldn't Car bars. Hilarious. It's like like I mentioned at the urinal. I was gonna have to stay on my toes. <laughs> Mm. Mm. well guys i gotta get to bed i have to wake up at a decent hour in the morning and actually do like whatever it is i do for money yep <laughs> cheers jody thanks for hanging cheers. out brother All right, cheers. appreciate you see y'all later hey man you sexy uh -huh. bastard i know it Oh! What do you know from funny, you bastard? Yeah, Jody. <clears throat> Good night, Chief. God damn it. Mark should be on in seven minutes, but instead he's on in 22. Yeah, just get the <laughs> fuck over and just roll us till the fucking night 15. I'm trying. Z Man, I'll carry it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm used to this shit. Yeah, but I'm trying. If I can't stay up till midnight, I got issues. You don't want to turn into a pumpkin? Mm. I can't. Hey, you can. I got, Mark, I got enough medication to fucking last me till I fucking die. I so, see it in that bottle. This isn't the medicine, brother. <laughs> oh. No, the medication is more weed every day. I'll, I'll tell you a couple. I got metatropol. I got uh, no, I got fentanyl. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know. You know what? If you want to just for. broadcast. Uh, you want to broadcast your uh, medical history on YouTube. That's up to you, I guess. But... I don't care. I don't care. Oh no! I fought okay. a fight. And I fucking won, brother. I fought the hey. light. The law. Wait, but he's yeah. real. What he's really going at it. He takes. He takes yeah. both the blue pill he and survived his heart attack. Viagra That's what he's talking Cialis. about. He survived his heart attack. He's trying not Viagra to have another one. Cialis is a sandwich. <laughs> oh, hey, the 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 surgery is what saved my ass, Mark. Well, yeah, you don't want to have another one, do you? Yes, yes, sir. You do, you do want, want to have another one? You do. You don't want to have another. He's agreeing that he doesn't want to have another one. Now I'm grieving to what you're telling me. I'm sorry. So no, so what are you sad about? Who are you aggrieving? Uh, it, stop that. I, I'm agreeing with you that I don't want another one. <clears throat> uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't want a first one. No. Same. Or another one. So I, don't, I don't have and no problem. Fled, I don't have no problem fled. talking about it. I got no problem talking about meds. It's it, it, not an issue. It My is dad had a quintuple bypass 25 years ago, and uh, I'd never want to have one. Yeah. A okay. five banger. Damn. Yeah. yeah mine, mine he was, was lucky. Like, he was 80% blocked. That's yeah. nothing. I was so, the yeah. quick story. My father... Was was the the only, no bullshit. My father's only symptom was he was tired. Mm. Right? And we were my folks were going to go on a cruise. So my mother's like, you, you know, he had been having... Uh, what do you call it? One of his valves in his heart. They've been starting to talk about replacing it. That it was atrophied. You know, and calcified. And uh, so they went in. They were talking about doing the TAVR, the um, the mechanical valve where they put it in through a, car, a catheterization. Yeah, aortic valve replacement. Yeah. So they, they went in and they found one artery was 95% blocked and another artery was 98% blocked. Yep, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and two days later, he was having double bypass and, uh, you know, valve replacement. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, do it all we can. Do everything you can. Do everything they, you can while you're it was, at, at that blockage, they said he was full on Widowmaker. Oh yeah. Ninety-eight percent. How long did he have? A couple weeks to months at most. Well, mine started from a pack of cigarettes. A couple of monster injury drinks. Not, by the way, hasn't smoked since the seventies. Um, I have but you know, it's also hasn't... cumulative. When was he born? I mean, he smoked for twenty years or whatever. Well, he was also uh, Vietnam, Agent mm. Orange, and Camp Lejeune. So, oh yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Wow. 
the fact that he's still here with all that shit is a miracle. If you change your lifestyle, I think to a point it's okay because I've always drank the liquor, but it was the fucking. I mean, I, 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 well, that's one thing they always tell me. I'm an ex-smoker. I'm not an. Well, you know, how but, many years go by? I'm still. I still smoke. Well, let me finish because I I stopped the the <clears> smoking, more risk for your stopped, lungs. I stopped the 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 energy drinks. And that's the shit that fucking pushed my ass over the edge. Yeah. How many were you drinking? And oh. drinks I would drink two a day, and I I, I, I smoked a pack of cigarettes. And I got that. So, Nick, do you drink coffee or no coffee? No, no, it's just no, no coffee, just energy drinks. Don't make your eyes fucking twitter. Oh, I know. I, I have buddies who drink multiple monsters a day, and I'm like, I don't know how the fuck you guys do it. They'll drink them at night. No, no. no. If I have high blood like, pressure. If I have two monsters, I would be like this. Yeah, yeah. everything would start shaking for me. Nope. Not, that's what puts I me can't go anywhere near that stuff. My pulse and, at the moment is 77. And good barbecue. <laughs> that also. I had my wellness check the other day. My uh, blood pressure is like 102 over 56 or something. Yeah. Wow, you're super low. My, no bullshit, Mark. Mine is literally like 120 over 80. No medication. Yeah. Which is, for a gentleman my size, is pretty fucking rare. Yep. And I got a I got a commercial job as a license that I don't use too much. You got to do 140 <laughs> over 90. My blood pressure is always 140 over 90, even with the meds. Well, that's with meds. I'm saying I'm or lower. Meds. Let's it, go for yeah, 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 yeah. Early in the do morning. You believe, yes, Mark, do you believe in the the one twenty over eighty is not is too high? I mean, it's what the textbook used to say was like ideal, but lower is better. I don't know if it's yeah. too high, but once it starts getting higher than that, yeah, there's probably some less. For, for a guy my right size, one twenty over eighty is pretty goddamn good, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all it's all uh, additive, right? You get all the risk factors and oh, of course, up and see what you got versus. Okay. But, I mean, like the nurse, when she takes my blood pressure, when I go to the doctor for the medication I'm on and everything, she looks at me and she goes, hmm? what? Yeah. I mean, you're not really going to take action unless it's 140 over 90 or higher. Oh, yeah, exactly. She looks good. at my medicine and she's like, huh? Uh, she's like, huh? Okay. <laughs> she's always surprised. <laughs> hey, Mark, just so you know, my fucking wife's a nurse. Well, 90 is too high. And she yeah. she checks she checks my ass hmm. all the freaking time, dude. Um, uh, what's that got to do with your blood pressure? <laughs> she just tells me, "Big, watch what you eat. Quit doing." She likes just checking him on his ass. Yeah. I mean, uh, what's she checking for? You got hemorrhoids or is there a pimple or what are you talking about? Hey, hey, you know what? She can check whatever she wants. <laughs> she can check whatever she wants. <laughs> 80 is too high, Eric. You think I 80 is too high? I think you're talking about Z Man's 90. I, I run wrong. generally like 82, 83. Yeah. Well, they want you to want, course, your over control 80, your blood pressure. So, you know. Well, I only cool. have one. So. Oh, well, your kidney controls your blood pressure. Yeah. So. I have. Uh, yeah, last the night, it was 13 by 9. It's gigantic because it was congenital. <clears throat> Did you get that from Jimmy? No, I got that from Agent Orange. <clears throat> but, but you know, just just so everyone out there knows, they only give benefits to children or women who were exposed to Agent Orange. Wow. And coverage, yeah. Even though I've got oh, multiple, I, even though rich? I had multiple, Is it not? what? Isn't there? Oh well, by now, yeah, you're not a child anymore. So okay. no, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only children of men who get benefits have full spina bifida, and I had oh. uh, a severe clubbed foot, including <laughs> a twist. Yeah, and uh, probably but they, related, but they don't cover it. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, considering my pops. Yeah, my considering my pops basically was bathed in the shit. Yeah, crazy. He he's the the worst part is after everything he's been through, he's still ninety percent, not a hundred. They're working yeah. on hundred. 
No, yeah, it's just uh, diastolic 90. No, I'm like 82, 83. <clears throat> you're they're, just, they're just always surprised when they take my blood pressure because they're like, I, I mean, no bullshit. Even though I've lost a significant, I've lost 55 pounds at this point. I'm still over 300 pounds. And I'm like, mid 120s over mid 180 low to mid one low to mid 80s would no was it the same when you were heavier yes uh maybe a few points maybe a few points higher on average uh it was it was 10 to 20 points higher when, uh before i got my anxiety under control yeah hmm. uh i was ranging one high 130s to 140 and once i got my anxiety issues under control i dropped my blood pressure dropped and i, I guess like every two blood pressure points reduces your heart risk by like two or three yeah. percent and so my uh percent. what do you call it more imp more impressive to me is that i had a uh i had a flipped p wave mark mark's probably mm -hmm. the only one who would know what that is and I was getting an extra beat occasionally, and getting my anxiety issues yeah. under control made that go away too. Yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. Palpitations, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what the brain can do to the rest of your body. Yeah, well, that's how you get the. Nice control at all? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Big Cat, when I had a heart procedure, my blood pressure was 210 over 90. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that a channel on Whiskey Tube? Yeah. Oh. Did you? They name your oh. channel after you? That's crazy. That's high. Wow. I can imagine they didn't almost go through. When it. I had when I had my massive uh, panic attack, when I finally was forced to get things under control, I was one eighty over one thirty. And that's when I realized I had to get this shit under control. Yes, sir. Because I didn't understand what was wrong with me. And if you don't understand what's wrong with you, there's a good chance it's mental. Yeah. And mental health is a, is serious. I will tell you. It's like that for a lot of people, Ben. It's like that. I mean, let's be real. I'm still fucked up. Like, <laughs> I, I'll be the first one to admit that. But at the same time, you know, having stress and anxiety under control versus not knowing what's wrong with you and just having crazy symptoms is unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And anxiety attacks are they're, they're normal. They're normal for a lot of people. Yeah, well, they were they were the norm for me and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I, I thought that I thought it was normal. Yeah. It is not. No. And, you know, just like Brian wears his PTSD on his sleeve, I wear my anxiety and stress issues on my sleeve. Well, and I, I wear my heart attack and my mm -hmm. blood bypass on my sleeve. So I got well, no fucking problem. Didn't they tell you if your cock had been half the size, you wouldn't have had it? My girl fucking told me where that is a fucking warrior. Because you, they did the surgery and I was laying in bed flat down in an ICU for three fucking days. And I had every fucking tube known to man stuck in my body and I'm like what the fuck this happened and she was angry that I let myself go that bad and it was I mean it wasn't drinking it was more good barbecue than anything that fucked me up <laughs> and uh, you know I understand that now so now I just kind of fucking I know how to cook better barbecue and the drinking kind of has calmed down a bit and the energy drinks and the cigarettes they all they're gone mm -hmm. that's the same reason i'll have a couple cigars a year when i'm I at do, special I events do, special, do, special events special people a couple yeah. times a year i'll have a uh, i'll have a couple cigars yeah i, lo I love a good cigar the, i mean i i won't lie i love it i love it like i don't love the taste forget the taste and the smell that's awful but if vaping had been a thing when I quit smoking, <laughs> I would have been on it like white on rice because nothing, I mean, save the, the meditations and the meditation routines and some stuff I have now. Nothing, even though it was a stimulant, 
calmed my stress and anxiety more than nicotine. Well, I used to get on here. Everybody all the time. shows about smoking. Well, I thought it was just settle down. I used to, I used to get on here all the time. Yeah, I'm, cr- I'm, cre- I'm, I'm creeping on twenty years off. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. And, and my heaviest was half a pack a day, but at half a pack a day, I was so heavily addicted it wasn't even funny. Yeah. To the point where my when I quit with medications help. <laughs> I literally have a multi-week blackout in my memory. Hmm. And I gained 70 pounds in three months. Uh, That's more than just nicotine, though. Honestly, I didn't change my diet much. really didn't. I was drinking 10 and 12 cups of coffee a day, trying to compensate. With nothing in it? (laughs) Nothing in it. Mm. That usually slow your appetite, too. Yeah, no, I mean, it, you can you can expect five or ten pounds maybe from the metabolism, but if you're gaining more, it's repeat. It's like hand to mouth behavior. It's not a cigarette. It, it really usually. wasn't. That that's what's well. It, I really am of the belief that the stimulant effect of nicotine was enhancing my metabolism. I mean, I have a super low metabolism. I eat like. I, I average a thousand calories a day these days, and I am slowly losing. I have a very low yeah. metabolic rate. <clears throat> now that's a brain thing too. Absolutely. Because you get satiety, and then you start I, losing weight, and your body's like, "Wait a minute, our, our yeah. weight's going down. We need to slow this down and then and conserve mm-hmm. this." Well, I, I, saw, I saw some some new study came out today. It was really interesting that said people who practice uh, OMAD, you know, one meal a day are like seven, like seven fold times uh, at risk for heart attack. Something crazy like that. Hmm. Some new study that came out today. I didn't I I didn't get a chance to read it. My day was too busy. But I was like, what the hell? Because basically I only eat once a day these days. Like you guys saw me eat that piece of pizza. That's basically all I ate all day. <clears throat> One uh, slice of pizza all day. Well, and that's not unmedicated, right? I mean, the Ozempic no, or whatever. That is that is medicated. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So the yeah. Ozempic is going to reduce that appetite some, and that actually helps with the with the brain stuff and the satiety and the and the calorie intake to be on it. Oh yeah, so relearn. Here you go. In- two days ago intermittent fasting linked to significantly higher risk of death from heart disease people who follow the popular white risk rate loss method may be 91 percent more likely to develop fatal cardiovascular disease wow that's crazy yeah i don't know how controlled it was or people who are doing that are carrying a lot of other risk factors so yeah the study analyzed twenty thousand adults in the u.s found that people limited their eating across less than eight hours per day as part of the time-restricted eating plan, intermittent fasting, more likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to people who ate across 12 to 16 hours per day. That's crazy. Although, let's be real, anybody who's forcing themselves to OMAD is probably having other risk factors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how, uh, what confounding yeah, things are with this study. This new study... We presented the American Heart Association Epidemiology and Prevention Lifestyle and Cardiometabolic Scientific Sessions 2024. It's a big sample. It is. Uh, I mean, it, it, I definitely want to read more into it. Because, it, you know, I can, eat, I can eat little bits through the day. I could. I just have to make myself... I just do it because I know if I don't do it, it's going to kill me. I just fucking eat little things. <clears throat> People look at me like, are you doing it? I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, look, look at Marty. Just drink it a $500 scotch like it's nothing. Here, Marty. <laughs> here you go. Black hearts. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> it's a new badge, but all these smokes are in a fucking shit retard. Scott D in the house. <laughs> Cheers, man. I lost the most weight cutting carbs and just sticking to meat and vegetables. Yeah. I mean, I lost over a hundred pounds, but it wasn't sustainable. 
when I did all the car when I did the you know low carb thing. Yeah. Now now I'm doing the Lanjaro and it's it's incredible. Uh, Mine's talked me into the veggies. So I eat more veggies there. But I am <laughs> eating very little. I eat very very little. Right. I will say I find myself <laughs> eating worse. Because when I finally realize I have to eat something because I'm tired or not feeling good or whatever, it's generally whatever is nearby. Yes. Because I haven't. Because it's seven, eight, nine o'clock at night and I haven't eaten yet all day. Oh, plan ahead. Do a little bit here, a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That lifestyle modification that you're uh, a better able to manage instead of having food thoughts all the time from the shop. Yep. Cheers. Whatever works. Cheers, Scott. How you doing, man? Welcome. Here's a wrench. With great power comes great responsibility. There you go. Mojo saying, walk a mile a day. Uh, Here's my Fitbit. Um, (laughs) Today I walked. And today was a light day. Well, it's showing me. It's showing me today as in it's after midnight. Uh oh. <laughs> Yesterday. I gotta consult the phone. The last twenty four hours. Yeah, hang on, let's see. Oh yeah. Mark Marty, you're slumming it now, man. Oh dude, this <laughs> one, of the, one of the reasons I have this is a regular heartbeats run in my family. And the fact that yeah. I can be monitored for an irregular heartbeat twenty four hours. You know, I, I, I gotta work you and I just send me, John. I walk around all day long in a middle class. I think that's a 2019 model. Yeah. I think. I, Let me go check. It, it's it is. It, there's truth to that. <laughs> you gotta walk around. Well, I haven't walked around since midnight. Well, we're all in here drinking and having fun, so screw it. But I did it this morning. I'll wake up tomorrow and go to work, and I'll be walking around again. I'm just kidding you, Marty. <laughs> She's sad. I'm a slob. <laughs> Fucking Marty, you're not a slob. Fucking retard. <clears throat> oh, this would be a 21 bottling, Mark. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I think, I think that one's going to be a mile and a half yesterday. <laughs> Fucking Springbank, you bastard. Well, Marty said he's drinking Springbank 10 in 2016. Now I'm like, oh, you're slumming it now. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying, Mojo. I'm trying. Did you like that, Mark? <clears throat> yep. Yeah. That's yeah. one if you can find it, just buy it. I wish. I'm my goal at the moment is two thirty. <sighs> I'm a thirty four to thirty six waist at two thirty. Mm. That's that's my current goal, and I am a long way from that. Yeah. I'm at two sixty, I've been at two hundred. I am currently at 325, but but this time last year I was 383. Yeah. My so girl, my girl wants me at 200. While, while I am still a fat fuck, I am far less of a fat fuck than I was a year ago. Yeah, you feel it. It's a little more plastic. There's some there's some plastic. What's that part? It's a little more plastic in here than there was on that other one, that Loch Loman. Well, oh, Spring Bay's got that Campbelltown funk to it. I might, uh, it's, I mean, it's a mildly pita, but Campbelltown's really got a funk for it. Though. You don't get on anything else. Let's, let's go. Yeah, okay. Ladies Damn. and gentlemen, Northwest Bourbon is live. Yep, so it says. Let's go. That there. means. It is time for us to go to the after party. I bet. And uh, apparently Mark put me on the thumbnail because he wants to drink a blind I sent him. So apparently I got to go over to Northwest Bourbon. Uh, And I'm pretty sure these bastards over here could go over to Northwest Bourbon too. Oh, yeah, sure. So I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to throw Mark's link in the chat. And I want you all to go cut uh, support. Northwest Bergen. Bergen. Holy shit, I'm drunk. What are you in Jersey? Jersey? Right I'm in New Jersey. <laughs> in New Jersey. Um, he needs to be at a thousand. Oh, Isaiah was lurking. Cheers, Isaiah. How you doing? Cheers. And, uh, 
There you go, Mojo. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so, is a county in New Jersey. Support, right. support Mark. Tell him that uh hmm. Tell him that Baller sent you. And uh yeah. That's cold night. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Take care. Cheers.